Now, you might have had a couple of these before, but it's worth doubling up because these you will use a lot. And then you've got new colours as well. I love these. You've got a £13 discount. Um, they're always really busy. If you do want to get hold of them, please check your baskets out. 456-05015 is your item number. Now, we're very busy. Oh, I'm so pleased. It's 7am. I always feel like nobody's there. Um, thank you. Um, please shop ahead, though, because your second hour at 11 o'clock has got different goodies so please make sure you have a look at the 11 o'clock show because honestly everything is beautiful the quality is amazing it's stamperia um Ooh, now, the moulds are seriously busy. I'm not surprised. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In fact, shall I get my moulds ready and we'll play with moulds? Um, there's so much to show you. We're where to start today. Um, please make sure with those moulds, if you do want those, check your baskets out with those. They are sensational. You've got your air dry clay, which, of course, will mi mix and match with your moulds. Um, and then we've got, as well, the cream paste. Cream paste sells out time and time and time again. The cream paste is amazing because it's super flexible and that's what I've currently left in my drying cupboard <laughs> um, right okay let's have a play first of all I'm I'm sort of mixing it up a bit I weren't gonna do this but because the molds are so busy I want to I want to use this before they sell out so the mold I mean this is lovely absolutely stunning these are really nice and big pieces but you don't need to use a full thing and I think that's like if I just printed or took part of this out so just putting in my air dry clay just put part of it and when you lift it out look even if you only use part of it, how gorgeous is that going to look? Uh, <laughs> isn't that beautiful? I mean, that is sensational. And uh, that's only using part of it. And then what I want to do is just rip that so it looks all textured and fabulous. And the air dry clay, brilliant. You can rip it, you can ink it, you can spritz it. You can do so much with your air dry clay. See, I like that because I think that looks quite old and and quite fabulous uh, but but i might want to take let's take another little bit as well the air dry clay of course dries super super lightweight um it's such good quality it's not you can see it's not stringy you know it's a really nice air dry clay you might want to leave it um out a little bit like our catherine does just to dry off if you find it's not coming out your molds really crisply i mean that came out my mold beautifully but um yeah, that might be a way if it's not coming out crisp. The remolds are already approaching a third of the stock gone. If you want these, you know what to do. Okay, let me just pop that in again. I'm not doing the full thing. I am going to use these bits. I'm not going to let them dry to use them because, because I haven't time to let them dry. But I'm still going to use them because they can dry on my piece. Okay. So I have it like that. So I want it not quite as thick as I've done the other one. Okay, and then just turn it round and you can see they're really nice and flexible. So that just falls out of that mold. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Can you see that? It looks very white. Look at that. And I'm not doing the full thing because that's I'm planning what I'm using them for, you see. I love that and I like this raw edge. That's why I'm not doing the full thing because I like the raw edge. Oh gosh, these are stunning. Let me show you, let me show you the other one. Where did I put my other mould? Where did I put my other mould? Oops, there goes my glue. Sorry, I don't know where I put my other mould, unfortunately. I mean, if I could, I know I've taken the thing off. So maybe I could pinch the one that we've, just you wait there. I'm going to pinch the one that we've got because I don't know where I've put. Oh, I've obviously left it in my airing cupboard. <sighs> That's where I've put my mould, in the airing cupboard. Right. Uh, uh, well, big enough for a little mould. There is only the mould in it and obviously loads of other stuff, storage in it. But, yeah. Oh, sorry, Scott's here as well. I didn't even introduce you. Oh, don't worry. Isn't that rude, Scott? Don't worry. Scott's here. Hey, hooray! <laughs> Just chilling. Chilly, Just chilly, right? You know, it is chilling. It's quite chilly, isn't it? Hawaiian shirt, look. He's sitting in his Hawaiian shirt, pretending he's on holidays. Um, okay, so the other one. So again, I'm just going to squeeze this in. Now, the one I've got at home, I did use the cream paste in it. 
This one, however, I'm using this just because it's quicker. Okay, so when I do that, then take this out gently. Gentle, gentle, and look at that. I love this. And then just going to chop that off with my scissors. And you can make the most beautiful tiles. And I like, with the air dry clay, I like it when it's not perfect because you kind of want that texture. See, that is so cool. Isn't it nice? Oh, love these. Right, if you do want the um, the wonderful moulds, you need to be checking out your basket. 40% uh, of the stock has gone. I am going to show you the... Um, because I've got it at home, so I'll bring... Oh, no, I won't bring it in this afternoon. I'm not going home before it shows. Mm. Uh, if you're using your cream paste... Forgot about that. If you're using your cream paste, let me look at the other one rather than mess this one up. Um... I mean, I can't show you the finished result, and I'm not going to repeat myself as to why, but let me show you how you actually load it up with cream paste. I know I've done this time and time again, but I know we have new viewers all the time. So it is definitely worth showing you again. So if I just, if I just, and what did you say? You two want to see it? They're excited, me head. Never seen it. Wow, you've never seen the cream paste load. Gosh, okay, now if you're using your cream paste on the mould, Baker's well excited. I mean, it's possibly the most excited he's been at 7 a.m. in his life. That were really weird, excited noise there, Baker. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> Ross is absolutely feeling the fear. <laughs> um, so, that one's empty, I'm using my pots up. That oh, one. <laughs> Um, you can't even run away. There's no running, no hiding. Um, so, with your, your beautiful cream paste, this is cracking stuff. It's seriously flexible. Um, it's just, you can use it as a, um, as, a, as a texture paste, but look at it. The texture of this is amazing. It looks like whipped cream, oh, it, but don't eat it off. So when you fill in your mould, this is my the way I do it. When you fill your mould at first, don't overfill it because it'll dry better this way. And what you do, you do one layer, first of all, let it dry in your airing cupboard and then put another layer over the top of it and then let that dry and then release it. You will definitely find it's the best way of using it. It's the best way of drying it because otherwise, if you fill the mould too much, which you need to do because otherwise when it, it won't come out properly. Because if you look at this, there's no, the, the pieces don't connect enough for it to come out in one piece. There's only little bits that connect. So it wouldn't come out in one piece, which is why you need to get it to a certain thickness. So you'd let that, um, that first layer dry and then you put another layer on. And basically that first layer will sink down into the mold. Don't panic about that because your second layer will actually um, glue, they'll glue together will your layers. So then you'll put your second layer on and that will actually allow it to, to dry quicker, to dry even, because you might find when you layer it thickly at first that the middle doesn't dry properly. And that's why I'm telling you this tip because I know when I use these at first, I watch the, uh, the videos on how to use it and they do actually show you to put a really thick um, layer on and I found they're having trouble getting them dry. So do it this way and then you'll find they dry perfectly. I'm going to leave that so they're just quick demos just to just faffing. Right, okay, let's get on with my proper demo. So what I wanted to do is um, work on uh, one of my Pink Pig journals. And I have actually started working in this, so that's going to be my cover. Uh, what I want to do first is get some colour down in the on the actual surface. So I'm going to use my turtle dove at first. As I said, these paints are lovely. They're creamy. They're, oh, the consistency is absolutely gorgeous. I might mix the paints up. So some of them might not be in this, um, in this collection that we've got for you today but some of them might be I'm going to use a cheeky bit of the terror just at the edge like this so I'm just yeah yeah it is short for terracotta not terror <laughs> uh, uh, terrifying paint terror and um, so 
<laughs> just start to layer these up. Now, obviously, I know a lot of people would actually remove this um, from the book rather than do what I'm doing. I There's no way I'm going to remove it from the book because I can't be bothered. Um, truth of it. Uh, honestly, pff, but I know I know people do do, but that ain't me. But you can do, 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 don't you? Which means my paint's gone through the holes gone through the cracks so what I'm doing is layering this paint up so first of all I want my edge to be darker so that's what I'm aiming for because if I use rice paper or anything over this the the color underneath you actually start seeing the color underneath so I'm just going on now the um, the pink pig books are a handmade paper so it does mean they're really really porous so it's just soaking that paint in and they're very textural as well so you can see it's kind of got that that lovely you can see all the 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 paper but actually yeah i quite like that i think that looks quite cool look the more you disturb it the more it starts to move but it just it just adds to the texture. It, I, I, I won't want to be covering that up. And then I'm going to bring on, so I'm going to go with the Milk White, which is also in your bundle. And then I'll go with that beautiful, hold on, I don't think you've got that one. I think you have got, hmm, which have you got? You've got Turtle Dove, you've got your Milk White. Oh, have you got the Avero? No, we haven't, have we? We've got the Ancient Pink, haven't we? Let's use a cheeky bit of ancient pink. Beautiful. There we go. It's lovely. Look at that pink. Honestly, these are such nice colours. Now, I want this not to be... I want it to be a bit patchy. Okay. So the way I'm brushing it on, really nice long strokes. So if you do this, it gives you... Can you see it starts sort of breaking over the, the other paint but it it's not it's not too thick so it means a bit like dry brushing effectively and then the center I'm at, I'm painting all of it even though I'm going to be covering it but then I know when I go on later I don't need to worry about the base I don't need to worry that it's not going to um that my rice paper is not going to take properly it will give me a really nice surface and these colors mixed together are beautiful you can sponge them on you can do what I'm doing dry brush them on um, they're really nice paints and they've been so popular every time we bring them out so please do not miss out on these okay and I like this you know how some of it's thicker um, like putting it on patchy the, because you'll get some of it will be thicker, but because it's going in streaks, it looks really effective. That just adds to this kind of really nice textured rough background that I'm trying to achieve. So you can water it down. If you don't want it as thick as this, um, then obviously you can water that down. But and I'll just finish with a little bit. And I quite like just leaving it quite textured as well. Okay. So I'll just bung, bung this on, and then we're away. There we are. Look at that texture. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? Okay, cool, okay. Happy with that. So we've got our base, first of all, which I love. And it looks all, I know it looks all shabby chic and marvellous, which is exactly where I'm after. So next, um, let's get some texture on this. So our texture, and then we can leave this dry while I work on something else. So the texture, you've got those beautiful brand new stencils. These are sensational. Really, 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 really like these stencils. Then you do get them with the pad. Obviously, you can get the pad on its own, but... I really like these. I'm going to use the cream paste. The cream paste works as a texture paste beautifully. That's my new pot. Um, so, I mean, you can do loads with it, but I mean, you could colour tint this. So if you wanted to, to add some colour in with it, you can absolutely do that. You can use your pigments. You could actually mix it up with the, um, with the actual paint, but I'm just going to put it on white because, um, well, it's for speed, truth be known. So just pop a bit on, and I don't want it solid. We're going to go for just little bits of texture here and there. Already looks gorgeous. And we'll pop a bit down here as well. 
They're such nice stencils. And they're really nice thick stencils as well. Stamperia do different weights of stencils. They do the very, very light ones, or these which have got a little bit more texture to them. And you can see, because they've got a little bit more texture, you know, your, your stencil paste really shows. I might use both stencils just because I can. Because that one's just divine. In fact, in fact, no, I will save that one because I'll stencil through it with paint afterwards. So happy with that. Let's do what I always do and clean that stencil off because it's the rules. So if I just get a piece of cardstock that I've already been working on, cleaning stencils off, but pop it on there and just take a brush and get your, your paste off. So not only will it clean the stencil, but I'll get a nice little old print that I might use later. That'll kick off, okay. Right, that's nice. Got a background. Boom, pop that one over there. Right, next. So that one we can leave to dry. While that's drying, we can start on our next little bit. So what I wanted to do, you've got the grey board. Now, the grey board is beautiful. There's so many, oh, there's so many, ah, oh, put them here. I thought I'd lost all my little elements. There's so many little elements in that grey board. And look how beautiful you can build it up. So you can actually layer your grey board up. Because look, you've got all these little bits as well, which look beautiful. And you've even got, look, they've even got the little strings. So if you want to put the strings in, but I want, I didn't know whether to use it as the strings or use it as the bow. But I quite like that as well. So you can layer this so you've got a real 3D element to it. So popping these on like so. So let's glue these in place first of all. Now on the show we have got the um, the, the extra strong glue. This is a really good adhesive from Stamperia. It's brilliant for all sorts um, and it is a good strong adhesive so you'll be able to use it for all your embellishments and things as well. Um, it isn't, I don't put my rice papers down with that one. This is for your, uh, for your embellishments. So it's great for that because that will stick on there like so. And then just let's build these up like this. And these little elements, they're all part of that grey board, but it just adds a really gorgeous dimension to your, um, to your violin. So do not it look pretty? I was going to put grey board, um, rice paper on this. But then I changed my mind because my other one's really decorative. So I thought, oh, this will look nice, just painted, but with these beautiful elements. So get my little elements on and then let's stick my strings on. I should have got out the other strings. So I've only gone and put one string out there. That way. So that's my little string. Like so. And then what I want to do is, it needs to go lower really, doesn't it? Oh, it's stuck now. It sticks really quick. <laughs> um, where have I put my other grey board element? There they are. So you've got in there, look at all those elements. So you see, you could use it as your bow, but obviously it works better as your string. So just pull that out. You've got little pips in there. So the little pips hold it in place, but you can easily release those. Um, obviously you can go in with your craft knife if they're not coming away simpler. But I'm just going to be a bit forceful and pull those out like so and get those glued on. So you've got your little strings on your violin. You would go through and remove those pips normally, but I'm I'm just rushing a little bit. Is it a violin or a cello? Is that what you said in my head? It's, oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's called Passion Violin. We've decided it's definitely a violin. I mean, I'm rubbish. I don't know anyway. You could have told me it were a guitar. No, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I'd have known it weren't a guitar. Oh, it's an electric guitar, Leon. It? Oh, is it? Oh, oh I didn't know. <laughs> it's a, a Fender. Is that a guitar? Boom. It's only one and all. <laughs> Other brands are available, but I don't know them. So. So, well, that would mean I wouldn't be showing off. So I'm not going to tell you any. 
truth is, I don't, I don't want to know. Just in case you're emailing in now with other names of guitars, I don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> so I'm going to put this at the bottom there because I think that looks quite pretty. Pretty, pretty. There, we <laughs> there. Okay. So happy with that. And that's one of the borders. That's actually one of the borders from the roses. So it's really nice to start chopping up. I mean, realistically, you could put loads on there, but I won't get too carried away. So with this one now, what I wanted to do before I start putting my paint on, I also want to put some texture on there. And I'm going to, now this one, I'm actually going to put my texture on with my stencil, but I'm going to put the paste on with my finger because it's just way easier. It's easier getting in there, can you see, with your finger than trying to get your palette knife in there. And I'm going for the, like, the, the smaller bits of that stencil so it really shows does the texture and I really really like that you've got script on there see even not even before it's been decorated I think that looks beautiful I absolutely adore it at the top I'm not going to stencil it I'm just going to texture it so at the top here just get your texture paste your um your cream paste and literally just, oh, I didn't want to do that. And literally, you're just touching that on, but that'll, because you, you're sort of, you know, whatever I'm doing, stippling it, that gives you texture. Like so. Now, what I'll do is dry this off. See, look how cool. Isn't that a beautiful embellishment? And you haven't even done anything with it, just stick some bits on. And I like that because that becomes yours. You decide exactly what you want to do. Shall I blast this dry? Well, um, our Scott gives us a bit of a, um, a reminder of what we've got. Please check your baskets out. As ever, it's busy. Um, it is stamp period. And I'm so pleased because obviously this time of day, it's like, woof. Um, so yes, thank you ever so much. Um, what am I doing? Flexi. Here's some VT. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with a Chanda easier. Yeah, the sun lounger with my towel, that's my towel. So leave that sun lounger, I'll be back in two minutes. Hi everybody, uh, sorry I'll be here, I'm dressed like this, I'm off to a Magnum PI convention after this, so uh, I thought I'd wear the shirt that I got with my free membership. membership. It's lovely to be with you, Leone is just blasting away on there at the moment, so I've got time to give you a quick run down the counter, uh, and it's very busy, I'll give you some stock updates. So, so I will start off with here, 20% uh, of the stock has already gone here, now this is actually going to be giving you the two of the stencils, uh, one already has been seen uh, being used by uh, Leone to work with, of course the other one I think she said she's adding some paints to work with, so you're going to get both of the stencils on here, plus this beautiful, the papers are absolutely gorgeous. I wanted to knock those down deliberately. I know it, I know it looks like, uh, you know, I just made a bit of a mess of it, but oh no, no, no. You'll know when I make a mess of things. It, it's now when I'm trying to open the paper pad. Right, so, uh, the, the, and these are beautiful papers. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. These are 10 double-sided sheets in here, and they are absolutely beautiful. You've got one of each of the designs in here. Um, now, if you want to go for an extra paper pad, uh, then the details for that are at the bottom of your screen. But this is beautiful with the violins. You've got the gorgeous images of the grand piano in there. You've got some fabulous music sheets in here, which are absolutely stunning. Uh, if you do read music, have a little play as well, you know, two for one, really. Um, you've also got your papers in here that you can work, so they're great for your journals or anything else you want to put in there that you can create, because they are double-sided, and whichever side you're looking at, they are absolutely stunning. Just look at that. I know that Leonie says you've got her eye on that piece. Uh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous image. Really are the classics in here. Uh, the beautiful theme of this one, again, the harp, 
really stunning. I mean, these are your quintessential big instruments, like the grand piano, the harp in there, the beautiful violin, uh, but all your beautiful papers. So again, I know you're going to enjoy working uh, with these. It's proving very, very busy indeed already. Uh, this is just 1997. Don't forget, that's uh, beautiful papers, plus you're getting both of those stencils included with that deal uh, for that for just uh, 1997. Uh, 666197. Now, it is on an extended delivery, so we're looking at the 12th of April for you, okay? That is for every Everything you're going to be seeing on the shows uh, for now. And I think it is at 11 o'clock um, back again with Leone as well. Uh, don't forget, if you want to get the pad on its own, you can do details for that at the bottom of your screen. That's just 11 99 518 424. But actually, that complete bundle there, 20% uh, of the stock already allocated. Now, the moulds are really, really busy. We're now at 45% of the stock gone. And actually, when you think about the price for how many moulds you've got, I mean, even if you get them and just keep them in your airing cupboard, you know, uh, it's still great value, which is brilliant. Um, so you've got those individual tiles that you're seeing, which again, you can see the detail. If I just move that tag, you can actually see the detail without putting anything behind that. That's how deep these are. They really are fabulous, fabulous tiles to work with. You can see there with that really, really gorgeous there. For the ballet dance, you've got the theme of dance, so it works with this. You've got the beautiful one there with the art that's in there. Melody, of course, the one with the violin, as well as actually the, the script that works with it. Really Really lovely. Then, of course, you've got these, and these are massive, actually. They're really big, big moulds to be working with here. So, if you are looking to make those main features, if you're upcycling on something, really creating something, again, or a real feature for your project, these are certainly going to do them. They are absolutely beautiful, those. So you've got one with your A4, with your Passion Round Lace. Then you've also got your one of your A5 on those. Again, really good price on that, just 11 98 It's 894062 is your item code. But like I say, really busy. And actually, at this sort of time, more and more people will be waking up and tuning into the show. Uh, and at 45 percent already gone they may disappear in this hour who knows eight nine four zero six two if you've got your eye on them uh, grab them right now and pop them in your basket uh, and then keep them warm in there and cupboard right um, moving on to the grey board. Now, these are lovely, and again, the, the features that uh, Leonie's looking at, but these are such lovely ways of just adding that little different element to any of your projects. And, of course, being the grey board, they're really quite lightweight, but you do get a really nice sort of uh, texture to these as well, but without actually adding any more on the weight, really. So they're perfect for projects. If you are popping them in the post to someone, you're not going to be weighing too much then, of course, on that, but you still get that really lovely sort of different thickness on your projects to be looking at. But there's loads I'll tell you what, you've got lots and lots and lots, really quite minute pieces in there, lots of detail for these. So again, really beautiful. One of them is more of sort of the finer details you can see uh, that we're looking at here. But then, of course, when we come to the actual music side, you've got the huge violin, you've got the treble clef, you've got, oh, now, what are they? Are they is that a crotchet? I can't remember what. What are those joined ones? They're a crotchet? Don't ask me, I'm a drummer. I just hit things, um, in, sometimes in rhythm and in beat. Um, very rarely. Uh, 851540, 15 You're going to get both sheets of that as well for that price. Again, really, really fantastic. They're lovely. Now, the rice paper. How are we doing the rice papers? Because, yeah, I bet these are really busy, actually, because these are beautiful. I mean, really lovely rice papers can absolutely transform a project, can't they? Really can. And these are simply stunning. I'm hoping if I... When I hold these up, you can imagine how these are going to work with any projects. Maybe it's some of the MDF projects you've bought for us in the past. Uh, maybe some little boxes you're putting together again. But when you start adding in the Bryce papers, they absolutely transform those. I mean, this is beautiful. You've got this text, you've got the gorgeous scripts, but you've also got those lovely little elements of those roses that are in there. And you are getting four designs. Each design that you've got, by the way, you're going to be getting two of each of those. But really lovely text on that. All those different sheets of the beautiful, gorgeous gorgeous music sheets all put together there. They are stunning. And I really, this is lovely as well. What, again, just for any project that that is onto, that is such a beautiful, the gorgeous old style case, the violin there, and then the scattered roses on top of that. Two of each of those designs really are going to transform a project. Only 15, again, 15.92 in price for those. 935085 is your item code for those. Absolutely gorgeous.
Right, last but not least on the counter, we've got the paint for you. It's not a pick and mix. You are getting all three. Sorry, all six uh, for these ones. Um, there we go. Should have been a pick and mix, really. Uh, any three. No, you get all six for this one. And right now, you've actually got a saving, an introductory price saving on this one of £13. So, really good. As Leone said earlier on, if you've got these and you're already using them, you'll know how wonderful they are to work with. If you want to stock up, now's your best time to get them. If you know that one of the bottles is getting a little bit low, you know, get it now. Always get them when there's that sort of saving on it. So the introductory price is £13 reduction. That makes a big difference. It brings your price down to only £16.94. There's a really big, substantial chunk of money off on this deal. You get all six. They are beautiful colours. The one that stands out for me has got to be the Indian turquoise, I think. One of my favourite colours anyway, the turquoise. It's beautiful. But don't worry. You haven't got to think, well, what can I get for that? For the pink? You get all of them anyway. You're getting them all for that. Four, five, six... Zero, one, five. Really beautiful paints. Uh, those and much, much more, of course, all available on the website for you. Have a little look there. Uh, you might want to have a little shop ahead to see what Leone is going to be working with on our 11 o'clock show a little bit later on. So do go for those ones if you're looking for the ones with the passion. Great way of getting them right now um, and pop them all into your basket if you wanted to. But there is so much on there. But it's a really busy show and I can envisage the 11 being even better busier than a little bit later on in the morning. So, absolutely gorgeous. The glues, by the way, and also we've got the cream paste as well that you've seen Leone working with. They're also, that's what I'd like to point you in the direction of, because that's what Leone's been working with this morning on the show, and the soft clay, of course, as well. Pop them in your basket, but while you're doing that, sit back, and also then look for more inspiration. Let's see how we're getting on with Leone with our project. Thanking you, lovely Scott. So, look, Look how gorgeous that looks. I've just painted it with the turquoise. I've started now going over with my um, my powder blush. That is such... Isn't that just gorgeous? And, I mean, all I'm doing is putting a little bit of paint on. So what I've started doing, I've given these a blast air dry. I would normally let them blast pro air dry properly, but just for today, I've just blasted them with my heat gun just to give them um, enough... Um, uh, a skin on the, the top just so I can uh, start to dab the paint on. So all I'm doing is mixing my colours up. So I've used my, my powder blush, first of all. I'm also going in with my turtle dove. The colours are fabulous and they work. I mean, when you look at the papers, look how well all the colours work. You know, they give us colours, the turquoise, the, the beautiful, um, oh, which is that one, the turtle dove. Everything matches the colour palette that you've got within the collection. And I love that. The attention to detail is phenomenal from Stamperia, that they're giving us paints that work beautifully with our palettes. It's just, I, I just think that's genius. And it's brilliant because you don't have to go rummaging around to try and find paint that works. And that can be really annoying because it can take ages and you don't get it, you know, you don't get the, the right paints. So all I'm doing is just stippling and layering my paint up. So it's not going to be even. I'm not going to do all three because that'll take me forever. Um, I'll just do a couple just to show you. So you can see just stippling the paint on, keep bringing the different colours and then mixing it onto this one as well. And with this one, especially at the top where there's texture, just kind of dry brushing it over that texture so you really see it. And just starting to layer that paint up. Some of it I'll go on thicker because I want the, the paint, I don't want the blue to be too intense. But as the, the paint comes off the brush, you get that lovely kind of dry brush effect. So you're still, you're still seeing the turquoise, but it's not, um, it's not overpowering. And the paints, oh, these are lovely. So I do adore that. And again, just layering. Don't get too much on your brush and then you can control how thick you're putting the paint on. I love the texture as well because the texture comes out. Just gently layer that on and then go a bit thicker there. So where I don't want the blue to be the main component, just put a bit thicker layer of the, the beautiful paint on there. And it is just a case of layering, layering, layering. And that now, I mean, that works with the paper palette so well, it's ridiculous. Anyone would think they'd plan that. <laughs> 
design, isn't it? That design. Hey, collections. That's that's called a collection. There we go. So really working in. I'm using one of the Stamperia brushes, actually. I'm not sure what you've got while you check out your basket. I don't know if there's anything today. Oh, Ross is going to have a little cheeky look. There might be something. There might not. But the brushes, it means I can get right in there because it's quite a hard brush. So it allows me to, to stipple into the, the detail, which is lovely. And we've got some die cuts. Are they stamp here? Is it? That's another one. Oh, oh, they're nice of them. Oh, and the, the grey board, that's uh, later on this afternoon. You're going to see that. And those die cuts are later on this afternoon. Thing is, with everything, it matches. So those, those, um, what, what, what did you say then? They are. They're in a bundle later, but you can get them individual. And honestly, the whole collections, they work so well together, it's amazing. So what I'm doing now, I'm just taking that milk white and just stippling that back over the top. And with this one, you might not see it as well. It's a shame I'm using the other collection because I won't get to finish this, will I? But then I might stop doing this and show you how much time have I got, Mr. B? Seven minutes. Okay. But I love that. Look at colours of that. Don't they just look beautiful? And then I'll show you with this one now. So more dry brushing than anything. So just start bringing this over. Bit heavy there, but that's okay. If you go in heavy, you can always go over the top with one of your other colours, so it's not a big deal. But for your dry brushing, get the paint on your brush and then take it off on there and then just start to dry brush over. And it's perfect. I mean, this is precisely what brings everything together. It gives it that really, really cool effect. And it does mean that the whole collection works together perfectly. So just really quickly. I won't faff too much. I always say that, it's an absolute lie because I always carry on faffing. Look, down that milk white, just lift it. I'm going round the edges. And I've actually, I have got um, the terror would work nice over the top of this. Terror! There. <laughs> Just scratching it on there. If you scratch, and you can actually with the grey board. I know I'm scratching with my paintbrush, but if you physically scratch the grey board before you actually paint it, it looks really cool because it gives you such texture. I love this. I just think that's stunning. Right, enough of painting. Let's um, just move those to one side for a second. Oh no, I haven't finished that one. Right, okay. And I'm going to do something I never ever ever do. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Not going to do that. I was going to just mop it up and waste the paint, but I'm not going to do that because I never do it. Why should I start now? So instead, I'm going to pop it on that background, my stencily background, just to start building up a background. We don't want to waste paint. It's naughty. Um, how much has gone at paints? A third of the paints has gone. The paints I am going to be using at 11am, um, so hopefully we'll have some left, but a third of the stock has gone. They're always busy. I'm not surprised. The prices are amazing. The quality is beautiful. Okay, next. So let's bring my book back in. Now, hopefully, this cream paste, I had actually forgotten about the cream paste, otherwise I would have given it a blast dry. Um, but I'm not worried too much because I'm going to be working over at top of it. And I knew it weren't dry because I saw a lovely map, but it's still a in it. <laughs> but then I forgot. And I didn't even warn him. I just watched him because my brain wasn't really... I just watched in a map. Cruel, cruel. Um, so look, look, I've taken her out of the pad. Oh, isn't she just beautiful? I love that image. It's sensational. So I've fussy cut her out, I've torn some and cut some, and then you've got lots of different layers. So she's going to be going on there like that. I've also picked out some of these, which I do want to scrunch up. So these are from the paper pad. I don't want them to look too perfect, though. So if you just scrunch those up, they'll look really nice and battered. Because it's like old, old music, you do not want them to look perfect. So that's going to be part of my background. 
like so and i'm going to do the same with that one but then let's bring in some rice paper your rice papers are sensational so all i'm going to do is start tearing up some of my rice paper and this will fit with the the stuff we've got this after uh, i keep saying this afternoon 11 a.m um and it is yeah i really recommend the rice paper i'm using my collar gel i don't know if this is on the show but this is i really like this adhesive it's cracking for rice paper because it's super clear and it's not glossy so it means you won't have um, any shine from it which i really like so just popping my rice paper on layering it up the rice paper you're getting two of each of these and these background sheets are essential highly highly recommend this it's just such a gorgeous print so just i'm not going to think too much about this because of time but just layering that up like so and oh wrong way like this and you can bring in as well oh two and a half minutes might try and finish this one off in the break after I've had my breakfast. So I don't want any hard lines. So just ripping those off and building it up. Now, can you see where I'm going? So building that background up because look how good that works with her. Then you'll start bringing these gorgeous elements in. So these elements will fill all your beautiful things in. I'll be bringing look the violin and I, I don't I need to mess about with my composition so I've got my gorgeous violin that's going to be coming in and I might bring it in like this so the sheet music is sort of around the violin like so I might bring on a little in fact I'm going to do I'll show you a little bit of the rice paper because that will work so well on that Look, if you bring on your rice paper, because it'll and then it'll fit in with your background, but it'll just mould into your violin. So again, using my colour gel, it'll go over your texture, because that's what rice paper does, and it just adds an el another layer to that beautiful violin, even more detail and even more interest. And the rice paper, you can use the smallest little bits, like popping that there. And I need to, oh, see, I love that. Oh, I've only got a minute. Do you know, the hours just fly by. Uh, please check your baskets out. We are going to be back with you at 11 o'clock. Don't miss out on these collections. We are going to be talking about the Passion Collection at 11. So it does mean um, we're not going to be touching on this one. So I don't want you to miss out on this. Um, thank you ever so much. What I will do, I will get this finished. So I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing this. I've also got... I want to be doing a little bit of this, oh, because look how gorgeous that'll go on. And then some of these little bits from the paper pad, like this, and then a little bit of this from the paper pad. And when I've finished, it'll all look amazing. At the minute, it doesn't, but it will do. Um, Scott, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, right, I will be back with you at 11 o'clock, of course. In the meantime, I'll eat some breakfast, finish this off, and then get ready to see you then. Thank you to Leone. So getting ready for Moda American Gatherings, the one day special for you now. Then the Clarity Mixed Media Friday and also Pink Frog Crafts. What a morning. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples and I've been crafting since I was a little girl and I have a massive passion for anything crafty related. Dolly Dimples is a fictional character in Dolly Dimples Town. There's uh, whimsical characters, fantasy characters, mythical characters. There's so much going on, so much happening in Dolly Town. And it's a fun place to be in. Our products are all hand-drawn. That makes them quite unique because you've got that quirkiness about them. We have decoupage, backing papers, we have templates for 3D objects, stencils in the mix, we have dyes and lots of other things coming to you soon.
Make sure you tune in for the Dollar Gym Plus shows on a chanda and have some fun. Kay Fassett is a distinguished artist, designer and author who has used his background in knitwear design to create an expanding range of bold and beautiful fabric prints for the patchwork market. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of beautiful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on a chanda. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Hello and good morning. Now, it's one day special time, as you know, at eight o'clock, and we have got some beautiful Moda fabrics. I'm going to start stroking them already uh, by Primitive um, Gatherings. We've got them here. Now, here's Jenny. Hello. Hello. Good morning. How nice are you this morning? I am good. Bright and yes. chirpy yourself. We, we don't want to get too close to each other. I know we can't because you're pink and I'm orange. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are we clashing? Too clashing? Yes, something chronic. <laughs> uh, never mind. You, I'm sure you'll cope at home. There we go. So, um, we've got some beautiful beautiful fat quarters they are american size aren't they they are indeed yes mm -hmm. and they're fabulous fabulous fabric when i received the box and stuff and i was lucky to get the half yards yes um i just drool because sometimes you get sent fabric and you think oh dear what am i going to do with that <laughs> yeah and i thought they're the world's my oyster because the colors are super you've mm. got splendid designs you've got your ditzy prints you've got your stripes you've got your stars think celebrations think perhaps the beach beach yes. bags i mean the blue you could put it with brilliant yellow yeah. then you've got the reds and the whites and it's a creamy white it's a very soft white it's sort of one of those gentle whites the red and the white ones think red work mm -hmm. and then you've got as Alex will show you, you've got a mixed 
bundle of them all so you have absolutely total choice and just think red white and blue what could be better colors I know they're so versatile aren't they so what you're getting you've got three options of your one day special uh, your first option is your navy and cream and you've got 10 American size fat quarters Correct. and they all work tonally fantastically yes. and it's a lovely blue it's not a harsh blue it's not a blue if you're going to wear it because you yeah. can make if you've got the half yards you could make a shirt out of this you can make clothes for the little ones out of this and it's a blue that's going to complement your skin tones it's not going to mm. drain you or make you look yellow or sallow or anything like that it's a lovely lovely blue um, I was gonna say it's a very classy blue actually it is a very classy blue yes, yes. nice yes. so this is your first option with your beautiful navy and blue uh, no, navy and blue navy and cream that's what I meant and then we've got the red and cream so we've got those lovely same designs um, but uh, in the red and the cream yes and these I think well again all the same thing that applies to the blue applies to the red but again think of your red work yes it's been a tremendous vogue for red work we've sewn all sorts of blocks with some lovely red work designs on them and this would complement think of that quilt that cushion use your bed yes. well just enjoy red white and blue and you've got a red left over or a white left over put it to one side because it's only 269 days till Christmas oh, oh my gosh I can't think about that <laughs> <laughs> lovely so again we're having a look look we've got stars we've got some beautiful stripes I love the firework one I think the firework is absolutely cracking there it is that firework shooting up into the sky and then you've got the ditzy prints yes um, they, although one or two fabrics are directional, they're nice because they're indirectional in one way. Because right. some directional fabrics, you have to have them top to bottom, but this one you can have, it doesn't matter. In other words, you, you don't have to have it the right way up. I know what you're saying. Oh, Lovely. Say. And then if you cannot decide, we have got a mixture for you, which I think is really handy. So this one um, on the website, you'll find it under multi, um, but they still tone very well together they do indeed mm -hmm. and even if you were to buy the whole lot and let's face it who wouldn't you're then going to get you not no one fabric is the same right so you have um, 30 completely different red white and blue fabrics. ah I see so if you to go for all three one day specials you are going to get a different design in a different colorway wonderful now I think it's important um, to just open one up I was thinking it's just for the for you to see so I'm opening up look this is our lovely multi stripes here we go so that is the size um, so what sort of things can we make with these lovely fat quarters well, there are a huge range of books that have been written on what to do with a fat quarter but basically with a fat quarter you can make um, certainly a block for your quilt yes. you obviously need more than just one fat quarter but one fat quarter could be used for a small bag okay so you know if, if you've got a child at Easter um, oh, yes. and you need to get them something to do why not get them to make a little tote bag out of a stripy fat quarter the boys would love it you don't just think girls for these fabrics yes the blues would do wonderfully for boys so with a couple of fat quarters you could certainly make two or three blocks for your quilt okay uh, two fat quarters would make a decent sized tote bag um, if you bought a half yard you'd obviously get considerably more but I had half yards and I've still got an awful lot of fabric left over and indeed the quilt that is at the back of me the blue mm -hmm. and white one the yeah. one that is here this was three half yards and I still had eight inches of the fabric left over that's eight inches right along the entire piece of material so if you're using a design like a strippy design, you're got, not going to waste much fabric. And you could have done certainly that amount wow. out of two, or rather in this case, four fat quarters, easily, if not more. Gosh, so there's hardly any waste at all. So you've got more than you think you have. You've got more than you think you have, yes. Excellent. Right then, so there you go. There are your three options of your one-day special. Uh, it's £33.99. pence. Item number is 470921. Then we come back here. We've got some half metres, again in these same fabrics, but they're on a nice pick and mix. So look at this. I'm loving the confetti. I think the confetti is really lovely. And you've got it in three different colours. You've got the yep. red and white one, the blue and white one, the multicoloured one. Marvellous. So this one is your navy confetti. Next then we've got the old glory. Uh, this is in the cream and navy. Uh, then we've got our lovely navy mini stars. I like that one. Um, and then we've got, oh, this one is a really nice one Jenny. The I navy think that and the is cream. super because you've got the stars. And let's face it, who isn't a star these days? Nice. And then we've got our um, navy love America. There you go. And you can see you've got some beautiful, like, it's almost like wreaths around them, actually. It is. I, very pretty design. And, of course, being a ditzy print, when you ever you sew ditzy prints together, if your stitching's a bit off, it yeah. doesn't always notice. Ha. You use a plane, and you've had it if your seam's not right. Yes. But a ditzy print, 
easy peasy. Excellent. And then we've got our lovely cream and navy stars and stripes. So that one again, like any direction, isn't it? Yes, it can do. And the nice thing about it was they are spaced easy to cut. They're about an inch apart, or rather they're a quarter of an inch apart the line, so it's dead easy to cut. Right. And it was printed straight. Unlike so many of these fabrics, when you open them up, you think, oh, this is never going to cut straight. <laughs> that was printed straight. Excellent. And then we've got our navy stripes. Brilliant for the camera. Not, <laughs> But anyway, this one, this reminds me of going to the beach. So much so. Yes. It really does. And that would make a cracking. If you bought a, a couple of those, you could get probably a very nice shirt out of it or Ooh. a skirt or patch pockets. Think of the toddler with a little pair of jeans on oh. and patch pockets in yeah. stripes. That's adorable. Yes. I like that. Then we've got the Old Glory in navy. And then moving along, we've got the cream navy mini stars. I guess as well, this is good for your, your, um, you know, oh, Tessa Patch and all of that. You yes, know, it is. Piece and it's, it's, again, it's a great filling one. It's a good blender one, and it would just be very nice for sort of the back of a block. And if you yes. miscut or misstitch, it's never going to notice. Right, love that. And then another one of our lovely navy stars. I think that's, I just like the clusters of the yes, stars. Yes, so do I. Yeah. Yes, three stars, because we're stars. Nice. And then we've got our navy um, stars and stripes, followed by another favourite. This is the shooting stars in the yes, cream and the navy. Yes, yes it's I, just I, fun. It's celebratory. It is just fun. It's, it's sort of it's it's like life should be full of life and light and explosions of colour. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. And then we've got our navy floral. Now that's a nice ditzy print. Yes. That is such a, I mean, that, that is going back to the days when I first started patchwork. And we love those ditzy prints. It really will fit in yep. with any of your others. I mean, you don't just think you've got to work with the red, white, blue. Put that with a yellow. Put that with a green. Uh, put that with other colours, even with greys and things. Yeah. Great mixer. It is, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were waiting for me to do the turn. They were telling me, do a good turn, Alex. <laughs> right then, because now we're going on to some of the reds and the creams. So this again is the Love America one. It is yeah. indeed. Uh, and then we've got the red stars and the stripes. Yep, again cut straight. Yep, lovely. And then we've got those lovely mini stars in the cream and the red. I was thinking Christmas for that one. Actually, I, I on can see that. that. Yes, and kept that for my Christmas table. <gasps> uh, make napkins out of it. You see, if you take a fat quarter and you hem around the edge, you've got a very nice napkin. Absolutely. Or oh, now I'm thinking, you know, cutlery holders. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, yes. nice. Yes. Um, then we've got our Old Glory in the red. And following on, our fabulous shooting stars in the cream and the red. That's another great one. It is another one. Um, and uh, this one again, nice and celebratory because this is the confetti in the red. Yes. Mm -hmm. And again, it will blend in with all those other designs. You, you know, you've got a stash of stuff. Yep. Put that one in with it. It'll mix well with those other ditzy prints. Excellent. Then we move on to our red and cream stripes. And then we've got Love for America, red and navy. Um, I love red and navy together. Yes, Very that classy. is, I think, one of my favourites. You know, I couldn't bear to use that one. Yeah, it's good. That's <laughs> I kept stroking it and looking at it thinking, I really like that. <laughs> um, and then we go on to our stars and stripes in the red and the cream. Then we've got the mini stars in the red, old glory in cream and red, shooting stars in the red, cream and red stars. And then we've got the red floral. Oh, that's another lovely one. Yes, it is indeed. Yeah, yes. I really like that one. And then we move on to the navy shooting stars. The multi-stripe, this again that, takes me to the seaside. It does indeed, and that's such a lovely fabric. And that, that just also reminds me of school, because we used to have school frocks made out of fabric that looked like that. Oh, nice. Um, then we've got the cream and red floral. That's a very pretty one, very dainty. This one is the cream confetti. Running out of room. Shooting stars in the red and the navy. Mini star, there you are in the red and the navy and last but not least we have got the red stars gorgeous right so we're going to show you how to pick and mix on the website really really easy to do so you're picking any two half meters but they're all named they're all there for you and of course you don't have to choose two different ones you can choose two of the same it's totally up to you uh, to be honest you can have as many pick and mixes as you like oh Meg's just chosen her favorite she's popped them into the basket <laughs> now I do need to tell you that everything's going to be dispatched from the 11th of April okie dokie now if you've got any questions that you want to ask Jenny of course as ever you can indeed send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or you can pop them onto Facebook um, and also we'd love to see what you've been making you know any cushions any bags that would be jolly marvelous wouldn't it okie dokie 
Uh, so, uh, we've also got some... Are we going on to the books? Apologies. Right, we've got some books by your good self. Thank you Jenny. very much indeed. Okay, so let's have a little look through the creative tucks and textures. You're getting this and another book in a second here. Um, so what can we find in here right, then, Jenny? That is a sort of resume of a whole load of twiddles and fiddles and nips and tucks that I first thought of, because that's how I came into the sewing world, by saying, if you can take a piece of fabric and you put a few folds in it like yep. this, what would happen? Right, and okay. And that has a whole compendium of various ways of playing with fabric. It's aimed at, this is a piece of fabric, this is what you can do with it. Right. The back of the book has projects in it. Um, it will take you on from my very first ideas and expand and explore them. Okay. So it's a book for someone who wants to have a go, have a fiddle with fabric, use it for your dressmaking, use it for your quilts, put it anywhere you like. Your bags, your soft furnishings, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do it, do it in calico. Mm -hmm. You could work in any one at all. And the reason why there's mushrooms there is the actual uh, design idea for the tucked up circle came from looking at a mushroom. Right. So you can get design ideas from staring at anything in nature or indeed anything in your surroundings around you. Yeah. So it's a book full of ways of twiddling, fiddling, folding and rolling fabric. Excellent. Um, do we have a sample at the back from we this? We have a sample of that particular book. The only one we've got here, and I will demonstrate that, is... Oh, of course, what I'm wearing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Spot on. Let's have a little look there. See? So on my waistcoat... <laughs> we have the bias effect down the front here. Nice. We have a panel of tucks that's been embellished. Sorry about having to look at my chest. Uh, <laughs> embellished with a little ribbon down the back. And then on the back of it, yeah. uh, you've oh, got that's amazing. What's on the back of it now. You should have got something called trumpets. And I think, I'm not quite certain what is down the middle because I can't see my back. Thank you. <laughs> that's so cool. Hey, no, you, you, it's, you... It's, this all comes from ideas that can be done with a piece of fabric. Yeah. And just think, if you did it in stripes, because as soon as you start to change stripes and roll them back, the edges fold back and you get some wonderful for optical illusions. Right, OK, and then we've also got this lovely one. I know, my latest one. That's my lockdown book. OK, oh, uh, is it? Yes, when we got, when we got stuck last year, yeah. I thought, what am I going to do now? Because work stopped totally. Absolutely. And I thought, aha, I had an idea. And I wanted to play with Japanese folding. I thought, well, there's a lot going there. I love circles, so there's various things to do with circles. Um, it's a book full of ideas that are great for perhaps hand-sewing people. It's got a bit of Christmassy things in, so you could save that red, white, and that red fabric and the white fabric for Christmas. Yep. So that's your Japanese folded just literally wrapping shapes over shapes and you can take it and expand it and play with it um, I think there's again more on with circles because uh, it's amazing if you take half a dozen or even eight circles and mm -hmm. play with it and I put the templates in the oh, middle great. of the book okay. so that it lies flat if you want to trace from it oh that's good um, yes makes it so much easier to actually use the templates then you're moving on and you're looking at bowls now this was an idea I had of playing with shape because if you take various shapes and you stitch them around another shape yeah you can fold up the side and you get a soft bowl and it depends on the shape you start with and the shape you add to it mm -hmm. as to the sort of bowl you get I was really really pleased with that idea. Yeah, it's so clever, isn't it? Yeah. Loads more. I'll, we'll have another flick through a little bit later on. So you're getting your material magic and your creative tucks and textures. There we go. Together for £18.94. pence. you got a nice £6 saving there. So that is going to keep you nice and busy. Uh, 153971 is your item number. Um, again, you can call us 01733602000 or as always, your fastest way to order is if you can go to hachanda.com. Um, over to you then, Jenny. Thank you very much indeed, Alex. Well, I have, to I have to finish off the demo I did last night because I started one last night using nine squares. But just for those of you who've only just tuned in, yesterday, I think on the first show, um, I did the uh, hexagon that I have here that's really an optical illusion. It mm. depends on which way you look at it as to what actually design Clever. pops out at you. So that came from strips and the 60 degree triangle. You can make as many of those as you happen to like and when you put them together all sorts of interesting things start to happen. So that was that. You also missed taking strips and just using squares and cutting them up, which makes this ribbons and bow quilt, which was the big one hanging behind me. Right. This is not my idea. It was an idea that came from a book, oh, years ago, right back in the 90s, by a Susan um, American lass. And so really good, quick way of using up strips. And then there's this particular one, which is another technique which basically comes from four pairs of squares made of half square triangles. And perhaps I'll demonstrate that later on in the show. Cool. But what I did last night was I took nine squares and I sewed nine squares together to make a classic nine patch. And that's what I actually did.
The squares could be any size. I chose four and a half inches, and the reason for that is it very nicely fits the ruler that we have on the show, the little square ruler, for the next bit of cutting. We'll rescue it from here. So nine four and a half inch squares are stitched together. Yeah. I then took a longer ruler and I cut it in half and I cut it in half again. Now, a classic technique that's become classic rather over the years is something called the disappearing nine patch. There's your nine patch, right. cut it up, and then you simply turn two sections round, one there and one there. So that's your disappearing nine patch. But did you know, Alex, you can make it disappear again? How? This is how you do it. <laughs> so you go back to your original nine patch there. Yeah. And you measure the size of these squares, which if you used a four and a half inch one, you should end up with six and a quarter inch squares. You will need to cut four more squares in one color. And I've chosen, I'm working with the red and cream section. I've chosen the shooting stars to go in oh, there. Oh, that works. The yeah. shooting stars to go in there. And the shooting stars to go in there. Move this all out the way a bit. Go, and one there. And I'm going to put the stripes in the middle. What happens then is you sew it all together, and I'm not going to fuss about sewing it all together, and you then cut it up again. Right. So let's put that one to one side because here's one I did earlier. True Blue Peter style. True Blue Peter, absolutely. <laughs> and when you cut it up again, just keep your eyes shut for a moment, everybody. Okay, I'm going to keep my eyes shut. <laughs> ah, they do go back in the right order because I've got the stripes, there we are. So there we are, there's my squares stitched together. Right. And then if you cut it up again, and you turn that one round that way, and that one round that way, you get this fantastic design coming across your quilt. It's quite unusual, actually. It is most unusual. Yeah. So basically, it's a disappearing nine patch done again for the second time. But if you felt doing four and a half inch squares was a bit small, you can do a disappearing nine patch with any size squares you like. <laughs> so these are six and a half inch squares. In other words, I cut straight round that template. And then whatever the size of the squares are, when you have cut them up, that is the size that determines the piece that goes in between. Right. So all you need to do is measure this, open it up, stitch one there, one there, one there, and then cut it, which is why, when you saw last Sunday's show, if you didn't get one of these, now is your time to jump on the website and get one, because these long rulers are absolutely invaluable mm -hmm. when it comes to patchwork. Mm. So that's a little something you could do with the red and white cream like section. That. Could a beginner do that? Yes. Oh, very excellent. Easy. A beginner could do that so, so easily. And yeah. I think the nice thing about it is, is when you come to cut it up the first time, all you need to do is to make sure you measure across the square there. And if it's a little bit out, take the average. Okay. Because what you could always do, not necessarily with this size, but if you have one of the smaller rulers, or maybe you've got the square, is if you've really watsed it up, well, just put this on top and square them up so they're all the same size. And then sew them together. Yeah. Okay. So, absolutely ideal for a beginner. Excellent. Uh, we've just put the details on screen, actually, for the Easy Quilting Square Junior Acrylic Template. That is just 10.99. Item number is 969837. So another really invaluable little template for you there. What right. else would you like what to show? What I'm going to do now yes. is I want to do something from Foldy Rolly. I love that name, Foldy Rolly. <laughs> That's hard to say, you know. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly easier than tucks textures and pleats, which you have to say very carefully, which was um, the title yes. of my first book, I, I, I did think yes. about it before I said it. <laughs> okay, Foley Roly Patchwork Pizzazz. If you're wondering why there's no I in Pizzazz, the answer is very simple. It's my book. I wrote it, which means I can put what I like on the pages. Of course you can. You darn well and can. Had I got an I there, it meant this fell off the line and it interrupted that picture. Well, how very dare it. <laughs> so in this book, you'll find there's a whole load of blocks named after fireworks, because I thought that had a sort of explosive looking quality to it. Mm -hmm. So the one that I'm going to be doing is the actual one called Girondole, which is here. And this will start off with a whole collection of squares. Yeah. And that little square ruler that we've just shown you is absolutely invaluable. You're going to need four five and seven eighths inch squares in a background fabric, because that's going to be the background of the block. And they will need dividing in half, making what are known as half square triangles. Right. Okay. 
When you've done that, now this is where you want to pin your ears back, everybody, and watch carefully. We need four more squares, and they have to be pressed in a certain way. They need to be pressed in half, diagonally, opened out and pressed in half on the other diagonal. So both creases are on the right side of the fabric. Okay. What happens now is you fold it into a rectangle, and because you have pressed it that way, you can tuck in that side, forming a triangle, and tuck in that side, forming a triangle. And we've now got a triangular shape with two flaps this side mm -hmm. and two flaps the other side. We've not done enough flapping because we're going to flop one flap over. <laughs> so we've got three flaps one end, one, two, three, okay. and only one tother. Stick a pin in it. I am and intrigued. you want to put your pins in so that the pin head is sticking out on the raw edge side like that. Okay, you are going to do four of these, so let me just repeat it fairly quickly. So we've pressed it in half and in half, and you must press it with the creases on the outside of the fabric. Fold in half like that, yep. and in half like that. When you've done the two folds, flop one fold over, try and get those folds flush, put them all together, stick a pin in. Pin wants to stick out on the raw edges. One more time, so fold it, press it, press it, fold it into a, one of those. I'm trying to do this really fast because... We've got such lovely fabric, and mm. I've got to fit all these demonstrations in. And again, so your three folds together, stick yep. a pin in. Right. And again, do make sure you press it on the right side into a rectangle. Tuck it in, tuck it in. Yeah, You've had it. good practice with this. I'm working fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be the most accurate block. Do make sure you've got your three folds. Okay. Having done that, mm -hmm. we're going to take one of these squares that I chopped in half and put this shape, and you want to have the three folds around, say, the top end. It doesn't matter. Just make all the blocks the same. If you line up the point of the triangle with the corner of this triangle, it will be in the middle. In other words, you're sighting that in the center. Put the other one on the top there, and all you're going to do is stitch using a quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way down the edge. So you're effectively like sewing it inside? You are indeed. You are trapping it in the seam. Okie dokie. Right, let's get this all together. Do try and keep your raw edges together. Pinning it might be useful. Right down to the bottom. Okay. And of course, chain piecing. When you've done one, pick up the next one. Yep. I'm just going to prepare two of these. So in the middle, that on top, because even as itself, and do put pins in it, folks, this is obviously being done speedily for television, and you please, you can sit down, you don't have to do it standing up. It's only because I've got short arms, I have to stand up. <laughs> and using flathead pins is also a very good idea. Sorry? Using flathead yes, pins. And please don't sew over pins. Yes. Right, when you get to the end of, you will do all four. Uh -huh. So just simp them off. Don't forget to sew onto a little donkey, leader, ender, monkey, call it what you will, oh, thread saver. This? If you sew onto a scrap at the end, yeah. it collects the threads for you. Now, I call them donkeys because way back in the olden days, um, in the mills, they would have a scrap that they put at the end of the seams. Right. And it w was called the donkey because it carried the thread from oh. that lot of sewing right. to the next lot of sewing. Oh, interesting. Sometimes it was called a monkey because the thread swung from one piece of work to the other via the little scrap. So you sew onto the scrap, you sit on the scrap, you yep. do not come off the scrap until you shove the next piece under. I love stuff like this. All right. Right. When you have done that, it will pay you to press the seam open and flat. So get the little iron or whatever iron you're using right up the very middle there and yep. open it properly. Now, I've got a small iron here and a piece of cardboard. Now, if you're wondering about the cardboard... Yeah, it was. Philippa Naylor, bless her cotton socks, who is absolutely amazing, she does, I understand, her pressing on a sheet of corrugated cardboard because it gives you a very flat seam. On corrugated? My yes. head can't get around that. Because it just, just gives a little bit. Hmm. But it actually does make a huge difference to getting a flat seam. Oh. Here's my little shape. And if I lift him up, I don't know why they're male, but they always are, stick your fingers inside the three-fold end, and yeah. you can actually just pull it, and the little bit goes down in the middle. Probably doesn't show up terribly well on the camera. But can you see this has now covered the seam? Stick a pin in it. It's all in the book. Right, we're now going to take some more four and a half inch squares. Right. And I think I had, let me have a look at my design. Yes, I have the stripey one next. 
we're going to fold that in half and put it on that corner. You want two strips of fabric. One is five and a half inches because this block is now five and a half inches as I've taken the seam out the middle. Okay. Good. And a five and a half inch one, which is here, yep. is going to go down that side. Lovely. But don't worry, everybody, it's all in the book as well. And so. the six and a half inch one's going to go along the bottom. So just let me stitch this on quickly. Okay. In the book, it will probably tell you to tack that on, but hey, come on, just for Live now. dangerously, Live dangerously, Jenny. absolutely. In the fast lane. Oh. <laughs> it's so, it's, again, it's quite an interesting design that's coming together. Well, it was one day I was fiddling. Okay. Um, and wanted to come up with quite a lot of my ideas don't work. Sometimes they work very well, and sometimes they only half work. And sometimes they're a complete and utter disaster. <laughs> Once you've done your five and a half inches down one side, you want yep. your six and a half inch one across the bottom. Okay, okay. So when you're coming up with ideas, do you use materials at first that you're not that keen on to practice? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. I, I work an awful lot in calico, which is basically a uh, bleached cotton. Yeah. Um, an unbleached cotton, sorry. And I did smile when I moved house that in the garage is this large box of old ideas right. that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I go through them and think, can I improve it? Right, we've got to this one so far. Yeah. You need one more square and that square is going to go in the corner here. Now, what happens with all these squares when we finish the design, because I will do more in the in between bits and then put it together on, say, the 12 o'clock show, yeah. is that that's going to roll back and this is going to roll back, oh. and I'm just going to rescue this yes, cushion. Yes, all good. Then I can show you. So this was done with the red collection, it's and lovely. this is the bit on the corner here done with the blue collection. Got you. Here's your little trumpety thing with its centre um, piece there that's covered. There's that little piece which, when rolled back, is going to roll back and give you this nice arc. And can you see how the stripes go? Yeah. And then the next little bit here will roll back. And then in the center, I've put another square. So I will, in the meantime, get my block to the stages when you can come back and watch me at 12 o'clock, put it together yep. to get that design. Fabulous. So there you are, it's a little bit out of foldy, roly, patchwork pizzazz. Excellent. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Shall I give you a minute then? You can give me a minute. Thank you. Excellent. Let's have a look at the foldy, roly book. I keep wanting to say, you see, foldy, roly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your patchwork pizzazz, love that. So take a little look. I mean, I mean, just even here on the on the intro cover, that it looks amazing. Of course, you've got um, your full instructions and everything. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got here. Uh, it tells you, you know, from the start as well, tips and techniques, which is great. So basically, Jenny will hold your hand as you go through all of this. Uh, we've got it all about attaching borders. Now, what's this? Traumatic travels of a tucked up twiddler. <laughs> uh, you tell stories oh, in these, don't that, you? That was, that was a very funny occasion when I was travelling from one part of the States to another and inadvertently got my skirt caught in the hotel bedroom as I came out the door and I left my key behind, you see. I'm wearing this, this tarty skirt with the handkerchief points and the skirt was caught in the door. Um, so then I was stuck absolutely trapped in the door and I had two choices. I could either go down, take the skirt off and leave it hanging from the door, or go down the lobby in my underwear and say, excuse me, but I've left the key in my room and I can't, you know, my skirt's hanging out the door. Or I could get the skirt out the door. I went for the wriggling the skirt out the door, which did give a very strange view to the people in the corridor as they watched me, apparently sort of doing various things up against the door. <laughs> <laughs> Who took the photo? <laughs> I'm afraid that was posed afterwards. Yeah, that's so funny. That's so funny. I love your stories, Jenny. Um, so we've also got in here, we've got about the Catherine wheel. I'll talk you through that one. Uh, Catherine wheel table mat. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Love that. Well, the, hey, hang on. That's, that's done Ooh. in the blue and white stripes at the top there. I think I can. One second, I'll go. In fact, you can see it in, just in the corner over there. There you are. There it is. So that's really lovely, really pleasing to the eye. Yes, it is. And I, th I thought that's going to make cracking table mats, particularly if you put it on that um, insulated wadding. Oh, nice. Lovely stuff. All right, more in here. I now, this is one of my favourites, the Scrappy Zappy Do. Yes. I'm, Almost I'm, looks like a dragon. I think so. Yeah. Um, and indeed, there's a picture in the book of somebody and he did, one of my students did half of it, and it looks like a seahorse. Amazing. So is it in here? Think of that in your, with a blue background and maybe in red and white on there or yeah. vice versa. So there's so, look at this, there's so many things um, that you can do. More Catherine wheels would have, the jumping jack. And there, look, you can see it all coming together. And I love how colourful the pictures are too. Thank you. Yeah, love this. Beautiful book. So have a little look on the website for this one. You've got your trumpet cracker. There it is. 
Marvellous. All right then, so loads more. Again, I'll show you more as we go through. I'll start sort of halfway through the book next time. Uh, right, so that's uh, uh, we're going back to our one-day special. If you are just joining us, we have got three options for you of ten American-sized fat quarters. Um, and I'm going to open this one out this time. Let's have a little look. Uh, just so you can see the size, you get an idea if you're quite visual. Here we go. There you go. So we're looking at the cream and navy options at the moment. So this is your lovely stars. But yeah, have you got the size there? Amazing. Let's put this back. And as everybody knows at home, I'm terrible at folding, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> terrible journey, terrible. <laughs> um, and then, um, we, so you, let's have a look in, in a bit more detail. So you've got your lovely stars. You've got the lovely ones with the wreaths. You've got your stripes and um, stars. Then you've got your shooting stars, one of my favourites. Moving on to the navy and the mini stars. Then again, we've got the lovely one with the wreath and the star. Uh, we've got our ditzy florals, which is gorgeous. Your old glory the confetti and then you've got your which again it keeps taking me to the seaside the stripes so those ones that you've got there are your navy and cream option 10 american fat quarters then under the same item number what the reds in the lead i always love to know i'm always interested in this so this is your red and cream option uh, so you've got your lovely red stars with your cream background then the um, lovely red wreath with the star there and the cream uh, we've got the stars and the stripes, your shooting stars again, then you've got your lovely ditzy stars, yeah? uh, ditzy florals in the red and cream, old glory, you've got your confetti, then you've got your red with the stars and then those red stripes. So that's uh, that option. And then to finish, we've got the multi. Now, if you, as Jenny said earlier, if you were to buy all three options, there's no repeats. Like, you've got the same designs, but there'll be a different colourway, different background, if that makes sense. Hopefully that does. Okay, do oh, I didn't fix that. Never mind. There you go. Okay, do so from here to here, again, you've got your 10 American-sized fat quarters of your lovely multi. This is one of my favourites, this colour here, the red and the navy, Jenny. Yes, I, I like that very much, but I'm going to be using that next. Excellent. Again, you've got your lovely stars and stripes. You've got the navy background with the shooting stars. Again, very classy. Moving on to our cream and navy stars. Look at that one, the red and navy. Love that. You've got your ditzy floral print there with the red back. Uh, you've got your glory, old glory, your confetti, and that, that again. I'd love some collops or something in that one. Oh, Meg likes that idea. Okay, uh, so for each set of 10 American size fat quarters, it's £33.99. Now, it's all going to be dispatched from the 11th of April, and you have got that £6 saving, but only up until 6 o'clock this evening. Item number is 470291. Now, are we looking at the... Yes, okay, so one second. Right, we've got... Um, some layer cakes here. So, Jenny, what do we do with our layer right. cakes? Well, I did a jolly good demo, and I might well repeat it. In fact, we get time, I might repeat it on this one. Okay. Where I took the layer cakes, and I've got the creamy one, and yep. I came up one. with, no, with wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, this thing, which actually comes out of tucks and textures, not sorry, creative tucks and textures. Why well, couldn't they couldn't have given it to? I wrote the book for a company called Batsfords, yeah. and they insisted on having a terribly, terribly informal name: creative tucks and textures for quilts and embroidery. <laughs> I mean, who's going to say all that? So you know, it's known in the family as CTT. So that is a design that comes from the creative tucks and textures book, and I did it all with. The layer cake. Right. The whole thing is the layer cake. Amazing. So see how effective working with a cream or a white can be when you add texture and you get 3D mm -hmm. and you get the lines of shadow under here, under here. In the centre, I could have tucked another fabric. Equally, I could have tucked other pieces of fabric under here and there, which would have given a different effect. So mm. the opportunities for play when you come to be creative with a piece of fabric, and the nice thing about 3D and playing with textures, if you have fouled up, it won't notice so much because the shadow will disguise it. Right, I like that. Do you, how many pieces do we get in this, Jenny? 42. Brilliant stuff. 42 10-inch squares, which is an awful lot. We reckon the design I had in front of me took five, six and a half squares. 
Um, in the So Pieces book, there's another uh, two blocks that could be done with the 10 inch squares. Right. And Yanis and I reckoned last night you get six cushions out of one of those. Makes sense. You'd obviously have to have the backing, but we've got the backing on yes, the show as well. Absolutely. We've got that 1.5 yards of um, yeah. quilt backing, which is actually absolutely beautiful. If you're a hand quilter, that's really worth having. Lovely. I'll show you that in one sec. I just want to show you the difference between the cream and the white. It's subtle. It is subtle, but it is there. Yeah, you can see that. So there's your cream and there's your white. Either option then of your layer cakes. Uh, you can spread the cost. Two payments of £23.75. Item number is 540702. And then the quilt backing. Is this going to be huge? It's one and a half metres by 110 inches. So okay. it's considerably tall. It's twice as tall as me. <laughs> wow, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> You see, if we didn't have this separated, Alex, I'd come and hold the I other know, end. I <laughs> know, but it's all... Right, so just to let you know, it's all the way to the floor. Now, I do have uh, four-inch heels on, which currently makes me five foot eight, and I'm definitely not that. Um, but look, so you, you get an idea. There you go. That's how big it is. So that's a decent size yes, backing. So it's 110 inches. Um, actually, it's not twice the size of me, because I'm five foot four, which is actually 64 inches. So, no, that was, that was, that was a misspeak um, there. <laughs> but it's 110 by one and a half. Uh, so, one and a half metres, one and a half metres is 40, 60 inches. 110 by 60. Right. It would do the back of a quilt very nice, leave you some left over for your bags, for the back of your cushions. And I'll tell you something, because it's pure cotton, it would be delightful to hand quilt through. Yeah. If you are going to use it as a backing, I would suggest you wash it. And if you're washing anything, wash it in cold water, because if you wash it in hot water, it might set any creases in. But cool water, and all you really want to do is a rinse, just to get any dressing out of it, and then you can use it. But Moda's fabrics so are soft. all pure cotton, and yeah. they really are good quality fabric. It pays to have the quality fabric. You only, you only get what you pay for. Lovely. No, and I'm, I can't, I'm literally hugging yes. it and stroking yes. it. It's so it's nice. It's super. Yeah. Um, so that is that lovely big piece for twenty nine ninety nine. You've got so much fabric there. Uh, item number is 401968. And then last but not least, I'm going to have to ask somebody else to fold that up. Because Again, I see, you're, you're folding it up as though, you know, it's lapping up like a baby. I know. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, Jenny. <laughs> I'll, I'll get, can I have a floor manager? Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to leave it over here. <laughs> Just ignore that. Right, come follow me, follow me. Okay, here we go. Um, let's go through the pick and mix here um, right so these are half meters you're choosing any two so this one is your navy confetti and then you've got the old glory this is the cream and the navy next you've got the mini star and navy you've got the star print in the navy and the cream love that one navy love for America that one then you've got your stars and stripes in the cream and the navy navy stripes then we've got Old Glory in navy, mini stars in cream and navy, navy stars, navy stars and stripes. This one is your shooting stars, cream and navy. Next you've got the navy floral. Then, right then, <laughs> it's what they like me to do. You've got your Love for America here in the red, stars and stripes in red. There's your mini star cream in red, old glory in red, shooting star in cream in red, red confetti is here, then we move on to the red stripes, red and, oh, that, that one, that one, red and navy love for America, so classy, stars and stripes cream in red, mini star red, old glory in cream in red, oh, take a breath. You know the names are all on the website, but still. Uh, there you go, you've got your shooting stars. This is the stars in the cream and the red. Red floral. Then we move on to those lovely navy shooting stars. Multi-stripe, really like that one. Cream and red floral. Hang on, cream confetti. Red and navy shooting stars. Hang on, it's just a bit caught up. There you go. Uh, mini stars. Sorry, there it, is, there it is, in red and navy. And then last but not least, the red stars. Woo! 
Okay, so you're choosing any two half meters for 14.99. is your item number. Do check out on the website at hachanda.com. Over to you, Jenny. Right, I am going to show everybody really how to make because I've decided I would use the red and navy fabric. Okay. Right? I, I, having kept this to one side, because I'm hoping I'm going to get away with not using it. Okay. I've decided to use it. So I've cut a, and it actually matters not the size of square. This happens to be a 10 inch square. You'll then need another square of wadding, and you just want half the square of wadding, so you could save the other triangle for another one. What we're going to be making is a scissor case like mm. this. Right, so my 10 inch square, I've pressed it in half down the middle. I've laid a piece of wadding on only one half. The okay. edge of the wadding is aligned with the crease down the middle. Now, this is where, if you've got a fancy sewing machine, down the wadded side of the crease, you could do all sorts of decorative stitches. I'm just going to do some straight stitching down there, and I'm going to make my stitch length a little bit longer, simply to get there faster. Okay. So, do something. Now, play with your machine. You could use the edge of the presser foot running along the fold in the fabric to help keep it straight. But you want at least two, if not three, lines of stitch all the way down that crease in the fabric. Remembering you are sewing on the wadded side. When I get to the end, who's pinched me donkey? There it is. Stuff the donkey on the end. I hope you're getting the idea of this. Yeah. You only ever need one or at the most two. So I've done one line of stitch. I'm just going to do another one. Sadly, I've got grey thread on here, but you would want to have a contrast thread. So you could either use, say, a white, or what about a silver or a gold okay, or something yeah. of that nature. Oh, that sounds good. If you are going to put a metallic thread in, then either use a metallic needle or use a needle with a bigger eye. That might well help the metallic thread go through and right. not cause it to shred. OK, once you've done some fancy stitching down there, so I have done some stitching to anchor the wadded side yeah. to the fabric. You want a tab. Now, ideally, if you've got some of that elastic, that uh, tiny weeny sort of rolled elastic, this one has a bit of elastic on it. I think I got it off a name tag um, that I had. That's very handy. That would be exciting. Yeah, <laughs> no waste at all. <laughs> Quite. Oh, goody, it's a name tag. Uh, there was a company who was handing out freebies to put your name in. You have no idea of how many I collected because I actually <laughs> wanted the piece of elastic. Excellent. <laughs> I've only got one name. Right, we need about. I know, three and a half inches of tab. I've got a small piece of ribbon here. Yeah. And the tab is going to go in one of the corners on the crease, all right? So put the tab in one of the corners on the crease and just hold it there. Now, when I put a tab in, I like to have the tab lying flat. I don't do that strange cross it over or bunch it up. Have it flat. Right, this is a particularly small piece of ribbon. Right, so tab's going to go in one corner. Okay, and okay. I would anchor it on with a few stitches, and obviously because I've taken my machine to a long stitch, I'm going to take it back to a small stitch. So tab gets anchored on in the corner. Try and make sure it's in the very corner. And just go backwards and forwards. Come on, machine. Don't let me down. Perhaps I got it a bit small. Oh, yes, I have. All right, go backwards and forwards a couple of times across it. Yeah, but let's put that back under there. Right, so I've got my tab on. Yeah. You're now going to fold it with the wadding side. Sorry, nearly got it horribly wrong there. We're going to fold it in half right, like this. Right. Okay. All right. So we've folded it across the wadding. And I'm going to sew along here, round the tab, stop there, leave a hole, and then finish the seam off. The hole is to turn it through. So put a pin in there and make sure we've got it all together. So again, quarter an inch seam allowance or whatever you like, because be quite honest, it matters not, um, as if you do a larger seam, you'll just end up with a slight gone. Please just do it, thank you. Oh, you're still on a small stitch. Silly Billy. There we are. Come on. Are we all right? Yes, we're fine. Good. Um, we've had a lovely email while you're doing that from uh, Jane, who says, um, why isn't Jenny running the planet? And I agree. <laughs> she says we feel, she feels like we're missing out. <laughs> oh, Jane, what a lovely idea. But no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> be a bit stressful, wouldn't it, Jenny? <laughs> yes. Uh, do watch, and I'm probably going to catch it, but you'll forgive me, that you don't catch the tab when you come to the corner. So stop on the corner, needle down, raise the presser foot, turn it round, realign the raw edges, and don't forget the hole. Right, stop. You only need a hole big enough to turn it through. I must admit, I've not never stitched the hole up, but of course you will. Okay. 
when you get to the end, sew off the pointy bit. There's no need to go backwards and forwards at the pointy bit, because if you do, your machine will just eat it. Ooh. Ooh. On to donkey. Right. It's at this stage now where you want to clip off any excess bits off here, off yep. the end there, off the end there. Now, this actually came from the trumpet, which is in the many of my books. We're going to turn it through yes, the Yes, I hole. can see the resemblance, yeah. You see. And somebody said to me, can you make a trumpet as an applique? Which, of course, made my brain think. Occasionally, I think. <laughs> right, something like a barbecue skewer, use yep. the blunt end. Stuff it up the what's it there. <laughs> Push it down well. Turn it through. Poke that bit out. Yep. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. All good. Um, we've had another lovely email come in from Diane. Hello, Diane. Morning, Diane. Good morning. Um, she says she really wants to thank you for going through the tumbling block last night because she said at first she couldn't get her head round it, but like she's got it now. So. Brilliant. Absolutely excellent. Yes. Right. When you've done, tuck the excess inside. As I said, this is making a bit of a pig's ear of this. There we go. And it'll need a jolly good press. And there you are. You have a little pocket you can fold that over, Cute. fasten it down, and you've got a little pocket like that. And you can put your scissors in, you can put anything. You could actually hang them up on the Christmas tree. If you made them smaller, you don't put the wadding in. Yeah. Think you could hang them up with a little present in there. So oh. think advent calendars. Oh, yes. Oh, Easter's coming up. Yeah. Hey, come on, do it in Easter. And I gather there's now a vogue for Easter trees. Is there? So why not? Put a bigger loop on there so it'll go over the tree branch. Put a little egg in there. Oh, yes. Hang it on the tree. Your, those Easter eggs in there. And there you've got something. Because, look, we missed out on Christmas. We did. So this is why Easter trees. Lovely and idea. And Easter crackers. Why not? I love that. You could even put, you know, little, little bunny rabbits in you there, could, little one toys. One of those little chocolate things yeah. um, by companies that I shan't mention um, could go into there, sticking out this rabbity thing. Um, you know, it's a little pocket. And you don't have to put wadding in. The same thing would work without wadding. Amazing. Thanks, Jenny. Um, I'm just going to have a flick through your other two books that we haven't seen. Right. OK, uh, let's have a look at the uh, fans and the fabrications. Again, these are all by Jenny. So, I mean, just look at the front cover. Look at those wonderful designs. Loving this. Here we go. Fans and the fabrications. And you've got some textured garlands. Oh, isn't that nice? That looks quite Christmassy, actually, that one. And... Let's have another little flick over. Um, still carrying on that theme, but it's all very, very step by step, as you can see. Keep going. Look, all these wonderful different designs with the templates in there. Beautiful. What made you come up with this idea, Jenny? Well, that came out of playing with a tucked up circle. Right. You see, I just spend quite a lot of time playing. Yeah, it's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> if not with the grandchildren, with fabric. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at those fans, the tucked fan there. Yes, yes, it works absolutely fabulously. Look at that. Look at that. Just bring that forward. Uh, so you've popped in templates yes. again. Yep. And like you said, in the middle of the book, which is very handy. And look, I mean, just look at those designs. It's brilliant. How long a day do you spend sewing? Um, not as long as I like, because today I'm afraid office work comes in. Oh, now, that's in. a particularly good idea, because that's literally wrapping up fabric, yeah. wadding in a bit of fabric, and then you use it to create bowls made out of strips. So all your wadding bits and bobs, any size strip works. It's a soft sculpture. Yeah. Um, unlike the bowls that are magic, mag um, man blah, 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 manipulated magic, which are a firmer thing, this is a soft sculpture. Um, I may well get round to demonstrating that on the four o'clock show. So right. let's see what happens. Love that. I mean, just out of scraps, you can create a bag. I think I remember you bringing some of these in one time. May well have done. Yes, that's brilliant. I mean, oh, look, even down to your mouse mats. Oh, that's so clever. So again, you're not wasting any of your fabrics. No, no. Wonderful. Look at that. Somebody asked yesterday, what do I do with my scraps? Will I use them all? Now, that actually is a really interesting band. OK. Uh, the origination of it isn't my idea. It's a Victorian ribbon technique that I've just added an extra twiddle and a fiddle to. But if you want something to decorate a uh -huh. garment, uh, you want to go around a lampshade, you want a pretty strap for your sun frock or something like that. Yeah. That technique, and if you just follow the pictures, basically it's a whole load of box pleats with an extra twiddle. Wonderful. Oh, so many inspiring ideas in here. 
So for that book, <coughs> excuse me, uh, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. Item number is two four eight three nine three, and then we also have another book here, which is your sew pieces. So yes. the inspiration yes. for this, Jenny? So because I've written one called Stitch Bits, um, which I realised you shouldn't. It's not a good title to have because you couldn't say it very easily. So I have some more ideas, and that has uh, boxes. Yeah. It's got the cushion in. I'm about to demonstrate. Um, no, it hasn't. The cushion's in actually Creative Tucks and Textures. Um, the cushion that's in that book, which we've seen on the show, yeah. actually is a class I'm teaching on the 19th of April. It's a live Facebook class um, that people can go to. But okay. I wanted to do something that wasn't necessarily quilts. So there's boxes, yeah. there's a fancy Fandango in there. Yeah, uh, there you there's go. some really silly little bits like the spectacle case, which takes literally five minutes. And you can use all the ideas. You uh -huh. may certainly use oh, these yeah. for charity sales. Oh, good. Uh, you're technically not allowed to teach from because they are my ideas yeah but you can use them for charity you can make them for yourself um, so you know I have no problems with you selling them for charity but Aww. you just can't teach from the book because Absolutely. you know copyright etc etc yes. excellent all right so that's just so pieces uh, 995 725 uh, 963 quick reminder of the one day special and then we'll have just a couple of minutes to, to I'm, I'm going to do a very quick whiz through of the demo Okay, um, so this is the navy and cream option of your 30, uh, of your, <laughs> what am I talking about? One day special, <laughs> 10 piece fat quarters there, American fat quarters just need to say. There is your multi, and then the final option is the red and the cream. All dispatched from the 11th of April, £33.99, £6 pounds saving on your one day special options, 470921. Uh, we've got just a couple of minutes right, then, Jim. Very quick, very quick. Sure. So, okay, coming from Creative Tucks and Textures. <laughs> Here it is, interlock squares. It's an option on the design. You will need five squares. I'm using the layer cake, the cream one. One of the squares is left untouched by human hand. Okay. The other four are pressed in half, pressed along there, opened out. One point is then brought to the center crease, folded over, pressed again. Right. This is the right side. Please do this design with fabric that has no obvious right or wrong side. You will do that four times. Yep. The thing gets put together by taking the base square, which could have been any fabric mm, you like. Indeed. Remember, right side up. Lay triangle number one, make sure you've got this on the top, on the left-hand side. You need to know which is your left hand. Yep. Put a pin in the corner. Pressed triangle number two goes directly on top of it. It gets given a quarter turn. And we've got a shape like a yapping mouth. Yap, 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 <laughs> yap, yap. <laughs> triangle three, and do make certain you get this bit on the upside, goes on top of triangle two, gets turned round, and oh, thank goodness for that, we shut the yapping mouth up. But we can still see the little pin here. Yeah. Triangle number four goes on top of triangle number three and gets given a quarter turn. And disaster, I can't see the first one, I've lost the pin. So to find the pin, yeah. lift up the fourth one, raise the pin, tuck him under, Aha. you can then say hello pin. Get all the raw edges together and you'll probably need eight pins, one for each of the four corners, and sew round with a long stitch. Okay? Yep. Taking another of the layer cakes, you're going to want four two and a half by ten inch strips. So you're going to cut one of these into four two and a half by ten inch strips. You'll then need four two and a half inch squares. So it's another layer cake one and you cut it into four two and a half inch squares. These are used for the border. So one strip goes on one side, one strip goes on the other side. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Squares go in the corners. You'll have to watch the last night's six o'clock show if you want to see that happening. You yep. end up with, and I'm speeding <laughs> up because we're getting towards the end of the show, something looks so like good. this. And then what can happen then is you can roll all these folds back. Right. And when you roll the folds back, you get a lovely line of shadow. And you can roll these folds back and stitch them down by hand if you must. Uh -huh. You can roll that bit back. You could have inserted another colour underneath. And if you just play with it, you will get wow. something that looks a little bit like this one. That okay. looks incredible. So creative tucks and textures, interlock squares, but mm -hmm. do do it with fabric that doesn't have a right or wrong side, because okay. that's the wrong side otherwise. Oh, yeah. lovely stuff. Thank you so much, Jenny. And that cushion behind, is that the same principle? That, no, it's not the same principle. It's oh, a completely okay. different thing, and that comes from the Sew Pieces book. Right, OK. You, you just <laughs> have to have all the books. Sorry, <laughs> folks. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. OK, so we've got on screen for you. Where have they gone? The layer cakes. Remember, you have got the two options, two colour options. You can go between the um, uh, the cream or the white. You can see the difference there, can't you? Lovely stuff. There's your cream. There's your white. Um, now, you can spread the cost, of course, two payments of £23.75. Or if you go for them outright, either option is £47.49. So you've got 42 of these lovely squares. And they're 10 by 10 inches, so you've got a lot to work with. Item number is... 
540702. Thank you very much, Jenny. That was super, Alex. It Thank was. you, too. I shall see you at 12. I will look forward to it. Yes. Excellent. Um, do make sure you're joining Jenny for the 12 o'clock show and, of course, the 4 o'clock show. She's brilliant, isn't she? So I just love learning from Jenny. Right, then, don't go anywhere because we've got more coming up after this very short break. Next then, we have got the Clarity Mixed Media Friday, followed by Pink Frog Craft, and after that we are back with Leone for Stamperia. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers. And we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Tula Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humour, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of colour and pattern. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Six years of Chanda's been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. 
Nothing else is changing, we'll be the same at Chanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to the Craft Store, your home of everything craft. Welcome back, everybody. Lovely to have your company this Friday morn. Uh, we've got a brilliant show lined up for you. I know because I had a little chat with a certain guest a moment ago as well. We were prepping for this. But before we go straight to Barbara, just very quickly, I want to just break this down for you because what Barbara's going to talk about, um, I just want you to know how you're going to get these on the savings. We're talking about the clarity stamp, the feel good words. Now we've got two sets. So we've got the set of the A6s I want to tell you about right now. On here is a saving of £10 for you. Okay. Now remember that saving of £10 on the a Six. That's six two three zero five three. We've also got the A five set for you that you can see here. Uh, this is a different set from those ones, and this one is eight seven one three two six. On here, you got a saving of fifty. £15. Remember that saving as well, because you know what's going to come, don't you? Well, that's right, we're going to carry both of those savings over from the individual sets of the A5 and the A6. And then on top of that, you can see you're actually going to be getting that introductory price for another saving of £37. So all of that is bundled in if you want to go for the entire collection, that 078183. I just wanted to get that out of the way because that's the facts and figures and that's all my job is because the main lady here for your Friday morning is lovely Barbara Gray who's going to explain how you can work with all of these. Good morning Barbara. Good morning Scott, good to see you again. Lovely to see you as well, you're looking bright and cheery this Friday morning, um, looking well and I know that I was just explaining to our viewers that we had a quick catch up earlier on on, on, on a certain on a screen and um, what you've got lined up for us is great because we can do all sorts with these, can't we? And different feels and different look, actually, from these stamps. Well, that's right. And, and the thing is, just a, a point about the price as well. In effect, if you buy all 10 stamp sets, um, they're half price. Yeah. And that's what it boils down to. This is actually a feel-good price yeah. uh, on the feel-good stamps. And they're, they are, in effect, half price. And the other thing I was going to say, because of many people at home may have invested in the little set of masks that we introduced a few weeks ago. Yeah. Now, the masks are also included in each set so you may ask yourself well why do I need them twice the thing is you can never get enough of these masks mm. and anybody that uses them knows that and secondly they're a gift they're included yeah. in these stamp sets as a gift so you're not paying for them no. anyway and so actually, if you have got you... the masks happy to... days now you've got two sets uh, I mean the details if you were to go for those I mean actually they're 14 99 on their own you know but they are included yes. and it works out pretty much you pay nothing for those if you're going to go for that bundle so that's really good value that's fantastic value barbara even on each individual stamp set yeah. every single stamp set has its mask and we never actually uh, increase the price on any of our stamp sets the masks when they come with stamp sets they're always a gift that's brilliant that is so, fantastic so so that's good to know. Yeah. And the thing about these stamps, you'll see here, look at this wonderful oh, I artwork. Love it. What, what I love about these stamps is you've got, they're big, they're beautiful. We've got A6 sets, we've got A5 sets, loads of little assets, loads of pieces included. Yeah. But the, the style of them goes with, with all our other styles yeah. because, of course, they, they, are, they are what we call two way stamps, Scott. So, in other words, you've got the outline and then yeah. you've got the infill. So that love outline is perfectly matched to the love infill and then you've got and kisses and you've got loads of hearts the number of little assets and elements in each stamp set our lucy put these together for us they're absolutely glorious they are. look there on the joy and laughter 
Big word, joy and laughter. These are what I would call feel-good stamps, yeah. exactly that. Yeah. And they, there are loads of occasions to use them. We're having a big celebration at Clarity at the moment because it's our Shack Shack birthday. It's been a, one year wow. since, since we started the Shack. Wow, yeah, that's... because of lockdown. God, blimey. I remember when you first started that, when it was when we talked about that uh, last year with you, and I can't believe that. I mean, of course, it makes sense with everything with lockdown. But, well, uh, happy anniversary, I suppose, if we can say that. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's a one-year birthday, Scott, yeah. and so we thought it would be brilliant to celebrate it with these beautiful feel-good stamps great. at half price to make you feel good. We love that. We lo honestly, when, I mean, they are great quality even at full price, like you say. But when you start getting those savings included, these are great. I mean, the, and the only thing about these as well, and I know we're going to go on and, and show us different ways of working it with with colours, etc. But basically, you you cater for all kinds of celebrations in it, and all kind of like you say those. Feel good factors every occasion you've got you've got under this one collection haven't you and whether you're this is what I wanted to show you because what's really fascinating about these stamps because it's always the narrative it's the words in your artwork that give your work its narrative yeah. or its story yeah and I want to show you two two of our design team members uh, three in fact let me just show you so uh, this is the the piece that beautiful. I want to kick off with now this is from Jane Telford and you'll see it's absolutely beautiful it's clean it's crisp yeah it's using Tina Cox's wonderful poppies um, I'll show you those in a minute but what's so let's just hold that thought I'm yeah. gonna stand up for this here are our free stents uh, free masks that come with every set now the thing is here we have peace and we're using it with our lovely poppies very clean very crisp pristine artwork yeah now hold that thought uh -huh. and let's just move that over wow. and let's look at this artwork yeah very now, different this is fascinating <laughs> Sam Crow so let's just take a look at Sam Crow's artwork. Now she's using, because this is sort of a mixed media hour, mm. let's have a look at what she's actually using. Because when you deconstruct it, you'll be baffled at how easy this is. So here we have stencil card. This is the stencil card that Sam has used to make these, these huge tags and this artwork. Everything right. that I'm going to show you now is using our stencil card. Okay. Now, right. if you have a look, let's break this down so you can see it. I'll come up closely. Look at the bottom one. Yeah. And you'll see, if I hold it to the light, you'll see that the outline is black and it's embossed. Yes. So hold that thought because what I'm saying to you here is that the top stamp, so in other words, the outline stamp, that works beautifully and then she's colored it in, right? So so right that's on. the first thing to know is that what what's the background? The background is just ink, scraps, uh, mop-ups, uh, this is what Sam does, jelly plate stuff. Right. But let's just concentrate on the words for a minute. Then you take the second word, which is the infill, and you'll see that's shiny. Mm. So she's embossed that now. So she's put that up there, real random. And then she's taken a white Posca pen, and she's gone round the outside of the embossed line. So see this bit that she's she's left for me to do uh -huh. I'll just show you let me put my other glasses on <laughs> and I'll show you exactly how this works so if I take my Posca pen just bear in mind this is just a stencil card mopped up it can take the ink it can take the paint um, stamped over the this is done last and then right. you take your Posca pen I'm just testing it on a bit of black these are paint pens absolutely brilliant and then watch I'm just going to go in here and with a steady hand I'm just going to outline the inside see That's and you can see what Sam's doing is yeah. she's gone in see the stamps in the background yeah. again these are those chess stamps that we looked at a, a couple of months ago oh yes and you can yeah. see this beautiful grungy arty so you can see this one here is there. And then she takes the pen and she just adds a little bit of white and straight away out it pops, you see? Um, so she's used that stamp there, which is great. This is another big favorite. The ladies use this a lot in the design team. Mm. See, so you just, you literally ink it up and just squish it where you want it. Yeah, great. And what Actually. Sam does is look, it's really clever, Scott. She colors in yes. areas of it. Yes. 
They so are, good. They are. I'll just give the details of that, actually, Barb, while you talk about those. That's item 201789. Just in case you missed that bundle a couple of weeks back, it is available on Flexi as well, just two payments of 19.99. But you get a huge amount with that. You get 40 stamps with that one then, Barb. That's, that's a yeah, massive collection, isn't it? It's really brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see, you know, um, you can see how how is how is it possible that I'm jumping around a little bit here, but it, I find it fascinating yeah. that you can go with these stamps. It's the word stamps that are half price on the show today. The feel yeah. good stamps. These are the stamps that tie all these different techniques, styles, and stamps together. So as I said, you can take the flowers. I mean, how is it possible that you can take a set of flowers? These are Tina's, like these. I love these. Yeah. All right, we'll use these in a minute. Okay. And you can look, see, so you can look, daffodils, just glorious, right? There's one that I did earlier. Let's see, oh, using yeah. just beautiful That's artwork, nice. so yeah. delicate and fresh. But you can use this type of image with the same with the same stamps and come up with something so glorious. Yeah. And then you can take the same the same images and do something this arty, wow. grungy, wild. Look at that one. That's great. That is lovely. Alcohol ink. That's alcohol ink. That's brilliant. Yeah. I love that. So what I wanted, the next thing I wanted to show you, while we're, sit, we're going to stick with Sam's kind of artwork, because I know a lot of our viewers like Sam's art and this yes, kind of yeah. look. So this was, this fascinated me. I'd love to get inside Sam's head sometime. <laughs> I want to show you this. So she's done these, these great big long, right? Mm. So it comes to me and it's all clipped up and I think, what's she up to now? <laughs> and then she sends me this little cigar wrap and it says here, this is great, can be used in journals. Diary, Diary. page divider. Great idea. So our journalists will know what that means. Yeah. Pre-done card toppers. Perfect. Pre-done tags. Sam Crow. So I thought, right. So I had a look at them. And again, I get it. All she's used is the stencil card. Look, yeah. Same length. She cut it into strips. And even you can even do the base, all the, the all the background, and then stamp over the top. You see? Right. These are so so cool. And you just randomly stamp the words. The word is the common denominator. Yeah, Look. yeah. Magic, magic. These are so lovely. They are now, I started very thinking, cool. You could chop these up. You could turn them into card toppers. You could turn them into, like she says, dividers. Yeah. So I thought, right, I'm going for it. Look <laughs> at these. So I thought, right, I'm going for it with the dies. Right. And I cut them out prior to the show. So these are our dies. We've got tags. Yes, we've got those. Because I thought they yep. perfect for tags. So we've got these tags on the show as well. We've got the luggage, the arch, the dome, and then we've got the Edwardian plaque and the Victorian plaque. So we've got five of these different nested dies. They're very, very lovely to use. They'll tell you what, right now we've got a half price on all of those as well, just, you know, just nine ninety nine down from nineteen ninety nine. I said it's a full show of savings for you on this morning's show uh, with Barbara Grace, so please do take them uh, if you want to. They are, of course, all on the website for you, but they're all at that same price of just nine ninety nine two nine two three two three. 292 323 if you want to go for the luggage tags uh, die set that you can see there as well. But they are all there on the website for you to have a little look at. So what I'm explaining is that we've taken one of Sam's panels. So she's just had a grungy, messy afternoon taking that clarity stencil card and she's used the stamps, she's used the gel press, she's used ink, she's mopped up from the, uh, she just used mop ups, all sorts of ink, all ink this is, this is yeah. all ink. They look great, right? they look really bright. They do. Yeah. I mean, it's all this stuff. It's the same yeah. thing. I can make a tag out of that. Look yeah. at that. That's you know, it's just cool. a, It's just a little bit darker. But what's brilliant with the tags is now, of course, they're double sided as well. So you can make your little notelets and you can make you look. These oh, are so, yeah. so pretty, Scott. Yeah, lovely. Whichever side you saw. So these make lovely card toppers. Yeah. And then you can take your your words and you can put like, I've done this on one of the, on one of the, here it is, look, as if by magic, I've got it in front of me, I want to show you. <laughs> Always the pro, always organised. Look. Oh yeah, lovely. of my life.
Because really they're nested nice. and you've got different sizes, you see. Mm. But it's so, look, you can go arty grungy or you can go lovely, That's, yeah. clean and crisp. Yeah. Sam Crow, Barbara Gray. Uh -huh. <laughs> you so that? that was what I wanted to explain, really, Scott, yeah. was how, you know, and thank you, big thanks to Sam for this. Um, I wanted to explain how you can you can take the, something so, um, those words, and you can apply them to every single set of stamps that we've got. There's another one I want to show you. This is superb as well. Yeah. And then we'll crack on with a demo. Okay. But here, for example, our backdrop stamps. Let me just move this out of the way for a moment. And let's look at these backdrop stamps. Now, here's another beautiful piece of artwork by Sam. Uh, no, by Dee, sorry. Let's look at this. And you'll see again, we've taken the word luck, the outline and the infill. Yeah. She's used the to get that green effect and then in the background there's those backdrop stamps now they're on the show as well yes and so I threw everything at this show because I wanted to explain how there you go we've got those back the chess ones are in there as well look see the yeah, grungy they're, background they're great for all of these aren't they these are yeah, yeah. they are a must-have really for mixed media but I just wanted to explain again how we can take our backdrop stamps it, have we got them on the counter because if we haven't all, I've got them here all the cherry green ones we do have them here yeah we got them uh, all set out for us so that gives us the whole collection that's 67 that's not, no they're the, they're the cherry oh, green stamps love yeah we've these got... backdrop stamps these are these um, oh, these circles. oh I don't have that I don't have those on the on the counter with me at the moment let I've got the details explain. on the screen for them, though. There they are. Uh, That's got marvelous. Six pounds and savings. I'll show you a couple of examples how they work. Yeah, thank you. Because they're just full solid stamps, Scott, like this. Yeah, I see. Okay, and they come in different sizes and shapes. So you've got the round ones, large and small. You've got the which is um, you've got the square ones. So, you, so D used the round one here, like that, to create yeah. the green. The green in the background oh, is I using see. this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Then we've got. For example, this is a rectangle one. So you can see we've got rectangle, large and small. And again, this is how this has been done. Look, you see the background on that? Got you. That's done. You always know when I'm using a backdrop stamp because there's this little recess like a frame around the outside. Oh, I see, yes. Like here, look. See? See the rebate? Yes. And that's what, so that whole blue background has all been done with the large one of those. Look, see? Ah, oh, that's beautiful. So, Great, though. So again, though, what I'm explaining is that, um, and I'll crack on with the demo now, I just wanted to show you how, to me, it's amazing that you can, you can take a set of word stamps and you can apply it to every, every single design set that we've got of stamps and it works from from really really clean to really really grungy yeah absolutely fantastic like you say and that that's uh, that common theme there is the actual words of course that do it because i think i think I, I, and when we go back to barbara with the demonstration i wonder there's a week so we can talk about that because i wonder if it's the word in our mind when you read that word that conjures up maybe that image that you, goes with it when you think of celebration or birthday or or joy whatever it is it's amazing uh, just so you know give you a quick update we go straight back to barbara they are completely Complete collection that you can see here. Twenty percent of the stock has now already been allocated uh, on this show, which is amazing. Now we are looking at pretty much a half price kind of saving on this, which is phenomenal opportunity if you want to go for that. With all those savings from the A5 set and the fifteen pounds from the A A5 and the ten pound from the A A6, A uh, that's that, that extra money there. Twenty five pound is added onto it, so you've got a huge saving on here, and it's available on Flexi. Two payments of just thirty one pounds and. 45 pence zero seven eight one eight three luck wish don't forget you got the outer and you got the inners of these you know joy is it for a i don't know possibly a celebration is it a, a, a new baby come along there's the, all these positivity we're talking about dream you know the whole idea of magic uh, that's in there which is which is lovely you know laugh and light uh, peace all positive aspects that these words will conjure up whether you're going on the nice crisp 
clean images that we've just seen there, or whether you want to go for something a little bit grungier, they will work. Uh, you're going to be getting 109 stamps in total. Love that. Absolutely fantastic. And don't forget, as a real sort of, just a, as, as a little gift for you, in chucked in there, of course, you're going to be getting those masks. Also, those alone are normally worth uh, 14 99 as well, but they're actually in that bundle, which works out free for you on those. A little gift from everybody with Clarity Stamp. Uh, absolutely brilliant. And so split that cost down to £31, 45 pence, two payments of that, 078183. And I, oh, now it's a quarter of the stock now already gone. So, without any further ado, let's go straight back over to lovely Barbara herself. Right, looking forward to see how you're going to work with these then, Barbara. Thank you. So I thought we would go, uh, we would deconstruct Jane Telford's beautiful artwork, with her permission, of course, and, uh, and I'll show you exactly the ingredients because... This was the one that sold it to me. You know, when you yeah. look at artwork and you go, yes, that's <laughs> it. And so what, what Jane's done here, she's taken a piece of, this is stencil card. Again, I can't shout about this stencil card loudly enough. Okay. This is seven by seven. So we, so Sam was using the large, you know, mixed media size. And this is the, the, the seven by seven, perfect size for card makers. Right. We're just putting the details up on the screen that? for Don't you forget. for that as well, Barbara. That, we've got the larger size up there, but they're all available on the web. But 109465, uh, that's going to be the eight and a half by 11. And we'll put the seven and a half size uh, on the bottom of your screen. There we go. Seven by seven stencil there. It's on the card. It's 250 GSM. And that's on 912054. Only 1599 for all of that. So what, what is it so good about the actual uh, card itself there, uh, Barbara, just that you're working on? Is it, it just takes the, the, the stamp in so beautifully, does it? Yeah. It, it, first of all, it's very, very good quality and it's quite robust. Right. And the thing is, when you're doing cards, you like sometimes we we want to do uh, texture paste. We want to throw we want to do watercolor. We've been using watercolor in the Shack Shack on it. Beautiful. It takes water. You can flick water at it. You can use alcohol inks on it. It doesn't buckle. Right. It's just beautiful. It's very robust card, but it stamps up nicely, too. It takes ink beautifully. Beautiful. Brilliant. Well, all those details are on the screen on the side and the bottom as well, whichever side you want to go for. Okay, so let's have a look. And what we're going to do now is we, we just build this card up and I'll show you the logical progression. So the first thing we want, we've mounted our two stamps. So you can see you've got the outside, the line art, and then you've got the inside. And that, because it's at the front, this is basic stamping, this has to be at the front. So right. we're going to use the 8x8 and we'll, we'll pop this straight into the center before we before we even go so I'm just gonna I'm gonna ink up my stamp okay with a black archival let me just move oh I don't want to lose my masking tape because no. then game over no right. <laughs> do not lose the masking let tape let me just no so I, I've mounted the stamps on 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 two of our ones with handles uh, with our special clarity um, stamp handles they're great and i'm just going to pop this straight in the middle so we're going to pop piece straight in right now i've got choices you see if i want to i can color piece it in now and then cover it up or i can do all my stamping and then go back in see this this fills this sits absolutely it's so fun to do as well scott right yeah it's like a jigsaw puzzle yeah lovely lovely but what we'll do is we'll we'll do the stamping first and then we'll go back in with our colors so now what i need is my my piece mask so what i'm going to do is take my piece mask see and first time round they're quite sticky right. second time round they're not quite so fiddly right okay when they're fresh Obviously, you've got to go a little bit easy. I'm just detacking it a bit on my hand. Yeah. Um, you, you need to go a little bit easy with them because, you know, if you rip, well, guess what? They yeah. will tear. Of course. Is, so if you've got two sets, happy days, right? Yeah. That's so true. we'll just go gently with them. And then what we'll do is we'll take our, I've got a pair of tweezers, right? And then I'm just going to come over the top. Can you see me all right? Yeah, hey, yeah? Got perfect. That's yes, lovely. Yeah, thank you. Is my head in the way? No, no, no. We've got, a, we've got a good view of peace. Right. Well, I'm coming in this side now just because I need to get my head over the top. 
Right, and then I'll just lay it down, see? And it sits absolutely perfectly. And I I'm just want to be happy with the position. Right, and then that'll do. That's good enough. Great. Right? Yeah. So once you've done that, then that's then now I'm coming in with the um, with the flowers, right? Flowers next. Okay. The reason that I suddenly hesitated was because I wanted to explain something to you. Mm -hmm. Some of the artwork, these two stamps are so good. You know, you get like a drop shadow. Let me show you, oh, for yes. example. Yeah. Because at this point, this is where you can do a drop shadow with the solid stamp. Just a little side trick, okay. like ticks and tricks and tips. So I've done this. So if I wanted to put a drop shadow on this, like see magic, this yeah. one, this is done by Elaine Milner. See how it looks like a brilliant drop shadow, doesn't it? Yes. So it looks like it's three dimensional, Scott. Yeah, it pops out, doesn't it? Nice like that. Right now. So if I was to take us, we'll do it later if we get time. If I was to take this, ink it up with a lighter color, like, I don't know, a, a, a nice blue, light blue, then if I shuffle this over, and then stamp, I will get a fantastic oh, I drop. Oh, see. You oh, see? I see? Yeah. And that's, so this is exactly how this is done. You take the solid one, you take the line art, you cover it up with the mask, then you take the solid one, and then you offset it, I think is the word we're looking for. You just got, yeah. offset it. And got, you'll yeah. see a lot of the artwork that you're looking at has got that drop shadow on it. That's yes. why we want the masks. All right? Right. Right. So this is good as well if you wanted to cover up the outside and just concentrate on the inside. Both parts of the mask are invaluable. Yeah. So yeah. now what we're going to do is stamp this into the center here. Let me take a piece of, there we go, let me just take a piece of copy paper like that. Okay. And then I'll use my black ink pad again. And I'm going to ink up my black ink. So I've mounted, this is a huge stamp from the flowers, Tina's flowers. Oh, it's beautiful, very, very this beautiful. stamp. It's really yeah, lovely. It Details, is. but actually you get seven stamps included with this one, actually, uh, with all of those for the actual poppy sizes, Is there a good price on those as well? Yeah, we've got, we got another another five pound off on that one as well on the savings, so it brings it to under 20. Uh, usual price is just shy of 25, yeah. so a nice saving on that for you. Two, four, two, four, double, one. And like I say, you get the seven stamps in total with that. But like you say, it's a really it's a big feature stamp, isn't it, that one? Huge feature stamp. See, so I'm pressing, I'm pressing well uh, on this stamp and I'm putting my weight over the top of it and I'm just, I'm concentrating where the mask is. You see, once it's in place, I can just lean on it. If you've got a stamp positioner, a couple of hits with a stamp positioner works perfectly yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then, because I'm using a permanent ink pad, then I, if I'm good, I can lift it up and I can just rub the back gently too. Right? Oh, okay. Just in case I've missed any bits. That, that always works nicely. Oh, yeah. Because you've got a bit of suction now. Right? And then I lift that off. There we go, and oh, it's lovely. taking the mask off with it, which is super. So now I'm ready to cut. See, that's already ready that's to go. Lovely. So, isn't it? It's so cool. Yeah. And now, and my mask now, I'll just pop that on a bit of copy paper for the moment, and I'll replace it on its on its sh carrier sheet later on. If it's a bit fiddly, can I show you a trick with the mask? Yeah, though? go on. Because they're so fiddly, if you put it that way round. Like, you can't see I can't a see that. can you? <laughs> it's disappeared magically. <laughs> Put it like that, up back to front, right? Yeah. And then take your, then take your piece of copy paper, right? Oh, or your, I see. Or your, 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 your carrier sheet. Here we are, look, my carrier sheet. And then you can pop your carrier sheet, there you go, and then you stick it down that oh, way. That and go. that way you haven't got, it doesn't matter if it's off. No. It's on, it's on the carrier sheet, fine. It's right? got that shadow effect on it like that. <laughs> yeah, it's got a dro drop shadow on it. <laughs> exactly. So once we've done this, now it's time to start colouring in the um, to colouring in the, the the flowers. Right. Now with some of the flowers, you still want your mask in place because they're hidden behind the piece. And also, what I've done. Let me just show you the understanding. I want to show you this beautiful word. Peace, love, and understanding. There was a great song once. Do you remember it? What's so crazy about peace, love, and understanding? Oh, don't know that one. Got me on that well, one. I break into song, but 
Yeah. So this is great because you've got peace and understanding. Ah, oh, Feeling that's like nice. an old hippie from the 70s now. <laughs> there, look, Steve. It's so pretty. It's so easy that's to lovely. do and that's so pretty. Lovely. That's lovely. So I've got my base now for colouring. Now, let me show you a really clever trick with these with these flowers. So this is the thing with these these flower stamps. Let me just show you this. This, this is so interesting to show you. Yeah. Um, with the flower stamps, when you look at them, I can lean on that. You, let's have a look close up at this one. You can see that they're, they're numbered on the carrier sheet. Can oh, you see yes. that? Yeah, we can see one, that. Yeah. Two, oh. Right, and and also on the carrier sheet, the numbers are also here. So it tells you if that's leaf number two, that fits that leaf. Ah, two clever. fits that leaf. This flower, number five, fits this. So it's all made to fit. Clever. Yeah. And when we look at the one that we're using here, so cool. And don't forget you get a stencil with every one of these yes. as well, which is yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, of course, cool. of course. Let me take this one out to show you. So if we look at this one, you'll see what we've done is these infills. Otherwise, how would you, you could spend an hour trying to figure out which yeah. one's which. <laughs> you would. Right? So number five is number five. Number two is number two. This is so, so fun to do. Yeah. So this is what I did when I was, when I was starting to prepare this, this work. I took my, my artwork. Let's go to one that I did earlier that's still got the piece on it because I want to get into the flowers. Okay. So this one here, what I did was I take my, my, my flower, my thing, and if I want, I can number it as well, you see. Right. But I mount it so that it sits exactly over the top. Okay. So I haven't, got, I haven't got a fiddle like that. I've laid them down. What I'm saying is I take these, these here, right, and I lift them off here and I lay them down so I know that it's in exactly, that's, what, that's that uh, one, yes. that's going to be that one. Yeah. And then I, so that it sits on the handle right. Got you. I then lift it off with the handle and now it's good to go. Right. So that makes sense? Yes, it does, absolutely. So I can see which one it is from here because this is the key. It's fun to do. It's really fun to yeah. do. Now, what ink pad am I going to use? I went with an archival carnation red. Any red will do the job. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do is we'll take a piece of stencil card, just a little three and a half by three and a half, just a little. This is to test. Sometimes it's it, you have to sort of start, like get it going first. Make sure it's what you want before right. you start. Right. Right. And sort of season the stamp a bit. Is it dark enough for you? Do you want to go a bit darker? Do you see? Yeah. So when you do that, it looks a bit, that's going to be fine. That's a lovely colour. Right now. So, see, so then this, I, I don't want my head in the way, so I'm going to go to this camera. <laughs> that's perfect, isn't it? So I ink my stamp up in my red ink pad or whatever colour I fancy. Then I hover with the handle until I'm happy and then I press. Instant oh, colouring it. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I know. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> so cool. I can't. It's That's crazy great. good. You know? So, and watch how quickly now. So you decide which one it is. Let's go to that camera. Right, so you hover with the handle till you're happy with, until you, you and as you get closer, it sits just like a treat. And do you know what? It doesn't matter if if you're a little bit out. It just looks like a screen printing. Yes, you know, like yeah, a... yeah. I got you. It's, a, it's so... so it's, well, this one's this one. I tell you what, it's such an impact. Just that one colour on that, um, you know, with that, as, yeah. you, as you're adding that, it is amazing. Uh, by the way, just let you know, the mini, um, uh, the mini small and the square mounts, by the way, bottom of your screen as we're watching Barbara now, 953953-1199, and that's a set of 12 or sorted uh, mounts that you're going to be getting. If you're, if you're looking, liking the ease of what you're seeing Barbara working with, you can have that as well, bottom of the screen. But you can see when I saw Jane's work, I thought, I love this. Yeah. And it works so perfectly yeah. with the stamps. You know, I just thought with the, with the word, with feel good stamps, these particular flower stamps, they just sit so beautifully. And you, because I'm working, 
See, because I'm working with a dye-based, uh, sorry, not a dye-based, an archival ink. Yeah. They they dry quite. Um, they dry quite quickly, right. and that's why. Yeah, we were just being a little bit far. We've got to just be a little bit faster. You mm. know, that's that's all. But you don't have to use. I, I'm just grabbing a yellow here, for example. If I wanted to use haystack for the other flowers, that works. Oh, that's sweet. So you just you don't have to have. See? Ah, Look. yes. Lovely. Nice, isn't it? Lovely. So you just, it's whatever you want it to be. And now the word, let's just go to the word. Oh, there's another yellow one there. Let's do the yellow. The other thing is, of course, you can use, um, you, of course, you can use uh, colouring pencils. Yeah. To And I probably will. But now if I take this off, let me just lift this off now, because we've done all the colouring that I want to do around here. Right. And then I'm going to pop this on. I'll just pop this on a carrier sheet until later. That'll do. Right. They're good. They last you a long time if you look after them. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what, what I wanted to show you now was we're going to add the words piece. Oh, okay. So I'm going to ink up my, my, my stamp again. This is a big stamp. Mm. So, and again, what I, what I find, Scott, is if I ink it up once, when it's a brand new stamp, it's like you've got to ink it up twice okay. in order to get the... It's like you've got to season it, warm it up. Right. It's like right. in pottery, you've got to wedge the clay. You can't just go straight to it. <laughs> right. I've never done right, pottery. So I'm going to do it once. It's to-do list. See? Right. And it's good enough, but I'm going to go again. Right, And the I other see. thing is, the other good thing about this is, if, for example, I'm just inking up now. If, for example, I don't get it 100% and I think, oh, I wanted it to be really solid, red yeah then you just go again right just ink up and go again right now i'm going to look at that corner and that corner i want to get my head out of the way for you okay right and then i'm going to hover with the handle that's why these handles are so good for this yeah and then I, and when i'm happy with the position then down i go and if i've if i've kind of gone off a little bit i'm not going to worry about it it's live tv we forgive you we forgive you She's Stamp position is a great. No, that's good enough. Wow, that's Scott. great. <laughs> that's good. That. I'll have that. Yeah, take that. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. And I like that it's a little bit lighter here. That works for me too. Oh. So if you look at Jane's, hers is solid, beautiful, dry. Mine's a little bit arty, grungy. That's all right. Happy with that. We don't want to copy completely, Barbara. It's okay. No, no, no. <laughs> and then the other thing is, no, that's it, although I pretty much did. Thank you, Jane. Um, and then the other thing is I've used perga liners just to, just to add a little bit of um, colour to the bluebells. Ah, See? Yeah. So then you're just using your perga liners. So it's a, it is a, when we say mixed media, mixed media just, it's not, it doesn't necessarily mean grunge and throw so much at it until it looks no. right. Mixed media just means you're using different media yeah and yeah. pencils and ink and paint and you know which is what you've done here media, but you still get a lovely reputation. clean image at the end don't you which is beautiful yeah so you can see here you just build up and then with the leaves you just it's so nice to just run just run a pencil through that it the pergoliners liners are great the, the, i'm using b pencils the b pencils are the oily ones so they blend beautifully as right. well We've See? got the details on the screen for the away. Pergamano at the moment. The liners are on there. 20 of the pencils, 16 of the basic pencils. Well, just 29.99. actually really good for all of those, which is phenomenal. 418768. Again, we are talking about all your different mediums to work with. If you haven't got your Pergamano yet, uh, get them. I know you'll definitely um, wonder how you got on without them, I think, when you start getting to, to work with them. And now, um, finally, I looked at Jane's and she used this beautiful dragonfly and I thought, I recognise it, but yeah. where's it come from? Jane's been a friend and a, a design team member for so many years. This is from a really old set. So I thought, hang on a minute, we've got a dragonfly in the Shack Shack as well, in the Woodland set. Ah. So I thought, that'll do. That works for me. Yeah. Now, do I want to put them in in black, though, or do I want to use a, a gentler colour like, like she did, you see? 
Yes. She's used the blue, which I really like because it ties in with the blue here. Mm. So I just, I thought, yeah, okay, we're going to go with Jane's idea and we'll test it first. And they're so pretty. Oh, that is pretty. They're so pretty. Yeah. These are from the Shack Woodland set. Look. And then you just pop them here and there. Less is more. Less is more, Grey. Listen to yourself. <laughs> That'll do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, the hand just keeps going. I oh, like these butterflies. I like these dragonflies. Yeah. Yeah. So you can so see pretty. here how easily we're able to do that. Oh, that is nice, that, isn't it? Really lovely demonstration of that, Barbara. They're beautiful. They're they are gorgeous. Uh, Barbara, we're going to do a very quick recap, um, and then we'll come straight I'd back. I really with appreciate you. it. Give me a chance to mop up here. There we go. I'm I'm all give 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 me. Uh, right. So uh, just. To, Oh, right, is that the, which one's that there, Mr. Producer? Mm, right. Wow, okay, 40%, the complete collection. Uh, that's your A5 and your A6. Don't forget you've got the ins and the outs of those words, plus all those little extras. In fact, those little extras, they soon mount up. That will give you 109 stamps in total. Now, don't forget, there was a saving on your A6, that was a tenner saving. Then on the set of the A5, there was a £15 saving. So you got £25 saving on there. Then you roll that over, and then, of course, you've also got your £37 saving that you're looking at overall, because usually your price on that complete collection is 10 pence shy of a hundred pounds right now you can get that for 62 pounds actually just over 62 pounds actually uh, so with that it's a phenomenal saving isn't it for all of this that you can now not only that if you're thinking well 62 pounds 90 it's a really good saving but maybe it's still a bit a bit much still to go out all at once. Don't worry, you can split that cost, actually. So rather than pay all 62 90 now, how about you get all of those 109 stamps for just £31.45 on your first of two payments on your Flexi. The item code you're going to need is at the top of your screen that way. Oh, that looks slightly like fever. I apologise. Uh, 078183. It's on your Flexi Buy if you would like to go for all of those. They are absolutely phenomenal. Don't forget, you're also going to get the masks that you saw that Barbara was working with there. They're actually in there. They're worth $14.99 alone for the mask, but they're actually there. It works out free in those in that complete collection if you're going to go for all that, which is phenomenal. Now, speaking of masks, we do have uh, some more for you as well. If you're loving your landscapes, then you want to go for this collection. This is a brilliant bundle, actually. And if you've just seen how easy masks are to work with with regards to the words, imagine creating those backgrounds with these beautiful, these are the Clarity Riverside Landscape and Reflection Mask set. And you get the mask folder uh, as well. So really lovely way of keeping them all nice and safe. Don't forget, look after them. They'll look after you going forward forward all of that plus you get a 13 pound saving on this bundle right now also so you've got wildlife in there you've got characters you've got peoples in there uh, you've got these wonderful landscapes mountainous ranges that you're going to see in there which is absolutely phenomenal imagine how you're going to work with all your different colors on that and give some gorgeous skies uh, be like a Matthew Palmer piece by the end of it won't it um, but you've got all of those you've got some tree lines in there as well you've got some complete Brilliant backdrops that you'll be able to work with on your landscapes. With that £13 saving, that will actually give you all of those for just £29.98. It's a really good point right now to get them at that price with that saving um, on there. 407905 gives you all of those, but don't forget you're also going to be getting the folder with it so you can keep all of your masks in one place nice and safe they're not going to get damaged and again you look after these they will then look after um uh, yours as well so you're going to get your uh, your set that'll go with all that which is phenomenal 407905 uh very quickly just want to share with you before we go back to barbara that's just resetting for one more demonstration in this hour. Uh, Barbara and myself are back again later on, don't forget, though. We'll be back together at one o'clock. Uh, so we've got two lovely shows with Barbara. These stencils are brand new on. Um, great opportunity to go for these. These are your four by four. Uh, you're going to be getting six of these in total. These are your beautiful petite background stencil collection. Loads of great ways of working with these, I'm sure. Really like that. Some great celebration stencil, isn't it? There with all the lovely stars that you can see. But you've also got the rings. Uh, all, also, again, really lovely, colourful backgrounds. You've got the polka dots, uh, variable different sizes graded on those. These have a three pound saving on these, by the way. I'm loving the brick. The brickwork is lovely and the floral 
again on these really beautiful, beautiful background stencils. I'm sure you'll agree. Three pounds saving brings that price to the right side of fifteen pounds. So fourteen ninety nine zero nine five. Five, four, six. The stencils and everything else you've seen on the counter and things that Barbara mentioned, they're on the website on hachanda.com. And now the dies are all half price. And uh, I know that Barbara talked about them earlier on in the show. They're perfect for your tags, perfect for working. They work so brilliantly with the words uh, stamps that we're talking about in this hour as well. So they've been flying out. Every one of those reduced from a penny shy of £20 down to 9 99 each. You've got all of them. You've got the dome in there. You've got the Edwardian plaques. You've got the luggage. You've got the Victorian plaques. All just 9 99 And you've also got the arch tag also. Uh, they're all there on the website. Uh, right, we've only got 10 minutes left, so don't listen to me. Let's go straight back to Barbara where it really counts. Barbara, is that okay? Are you good? We've got 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to whiz through a really nice demo. I'm going to kind of fast forward it a little bit just to show you some tricks and tips. So, for example, now I'm going to go to this one, which looks quite complicated, but it's very, very beautiful and it works very easily. So what we're using here, when you look, you'll see those oh, masks nice. that you were just oh, talking yes, about. We're yes. using those in the background. Now, what we've also got going on is those great big mixed media, the big grungy texture mats, which are superb. That's how we get in that background. And of course, joy, that's in the, in the, we've got to do the joy first because of course that sits at the front. Yeah, I so see. So let's just, I've already stamped joy up using a thistle, just a permanent ink pad. And now I'm going to take the infill and I'm going to use our little artistry inks. And I think I'll go with the rosy cheek just in the center and we'll add a little bit of color, right? And then we'll color it up and then we'll do the background. Right. So we've got a bit of rosy cheek and then a little bit of depth around the outside with groovy grape. These are these lovely in, they're little tiny mini sets of ink pads. You've got them on the show. Ah, and yes. they come in little boxes like this of 12 ink pads. Very, very nice to use. So I think we've got a, a really good set of four. Yes, yes that's right. Um, we've got four to choose from. Those. Yeah, we've got the details on the screen yeah. for you uh, that you can choose from as well. Uh, you've got uh, golden turmeric. We've also got haystack that's in there. Uh, Lime Kiss yep. is another one of the sets as well. And Old Parchment, uh, which ones are those for you to choose from? 375, 358, just 2599. I think they are the cutest ink pads and the storage as well that they're actually available on, on, on the show. They're brilliant, these, Barbara. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. So now this infill stamp is going to help us colour in. And what we're going to do is I've just sponged on the, the colour and I, I'll probably do one layer. I might do a second layer. But we'll just have a look now and we'll just pop that into place. If I want it to be darker, then I can add more colour. But you can see well, how you're starting to blend yeah, colour into really the middle. Yeah, that's really pretty. Really yeah? pretty. So again, these are, this is done with artistry ink as well. This was done exactly the same oh, way, right. just using a makeup sponge, just to add color. Then what we'll do is just fast forwarding now, I'm gonna cover one that I've already done with, the, with our mask. So that's done now, okay? Okay. So I'll take that out of the way. That's got color on the back and it's already got the mask on. And now what we want to do, let's just put these to one side, because next thing, next up, we're going to use these amazing big texture mats. Now, they're on the show as well. And I want to show you, let me put a bit of copy paper behind it so you can see it better. Yeah, okay, that'd be lovely. And I'll show you how they work. Got you. So these are pretty spectacular. These mix me. When we brought these on the show, uh, or oh, a while ago now, mm. they absolutely blew the doors off. We, we <laughs> didn't know what hit us. <laughs> wow. Um, we thought the website had broken because they sold out so quickly. And the reason is they're just so lovely to use. Now, let me just show you. I'm using these little inks and I'm just popping some yellow there. Then I'm going to use some pink up the sides. Look, so I'm going to do a bit of pink here and here. Right. And then I'll take my, my trusty brayer and what I'm going to do is just hold it and just put the brayer 
through just to spread out the ink a bit. Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. So now I've covered the whole thing. Now if I want to add a little bit more ink, I can take my my makeup sponge well, and I can just add a little bit more now around the outside because what I'm trying to do is create a kind of a halo, you see? Oh, I around see. The back. Yep, yep. I mean, my thoughts on this are that we could come back to this at one o'clock, couldn't we? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be lovely. Okay. Yeah. Because this is pretty cool. So let's have a look. We'll go around there and then I'll take a little bit more of the groovy grape. So I'm using the same colour in the background, Scott, yeah. as we used uh, for the word joy. Oh, yes. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I think the, the half price joy uh, uh, feel good words are well worth investing in. Oh, I think you will get many years out of those, you know. Well, we are approaching half so now, the stock of those lightly. now, actually, Barbara. Sorry, love? We're approaching half the stock of those now, actually, for the complete collection. Are we? Yeah, yeah. So this is quite light, but I, I want to show you a contrast, right? So what I'm doing is I'm giving you the background here, you know, because we always want to get that kind of arty, grungy background, mm. and you don't know... You don't know how to do it, you know. So, and I'm, I'm giving you a kind of a landscape area. So you just rub the back. What you'll notice is it's on acetate. I've, I've got it on a piece of acetate. Right. When I lift that off, you'll see you've got this amazing arty three-dimensional background. Yeah. See? Yeah. And, and it's all there for you. All the layers. Normally, you have to take this stamp and get the bubbles. Then you have to take that stamp and you have to do a little <laughs> bit of this. This, it's like instant. It gives you all the colours in one it? hit. Yeah, it does. It does. You know? We've got about four so minutes that. left, Barbara. Well, what I would suggest is... OK, look at that. That's a lovely... still on the brayer. What I would suggest is what we're going to do next is go to the masks, you see? Because if we look at this, you'll see this is where the, the masking mm. comes in. Got you. So what we're going to do then is really straightforward. We're going to take the same colour, just fast forwarding. I'll blog this one later. OK. And you're just going to sweep through the colour like this, right? And you can sweep through... And then if you want to do the darker around the edge, like that, then you're just going to take the darker colour through there. See? So, so, so you're simple. using the same two little ink pads for the whole composition. Yeah. Look. And it's so, so easy and so nice to do. My suggestion is that um, we, we maybe come back... I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm looking. I'm loving these masks. Yeah, these are lovely. You can see how easy this is. You just sweep through like this to get your shape and your contour, and then you just use both colours. And what you'll find is I don't want to remove the mask quite yet because it'll be a struggle to get it back. So right. perhaps at one o'clock we could come back to this one. Yeah, that would be great. That would be lovely, actually. That really because. Um, I think the, the, the masks are amazing. They are lovely. It'd be nice to spend a little bit of time to see them in uh, for. See when oh, I take look that, that away, look how amazing that looks. Yeah. Yes. See, that's what I'm. That's where we're headed. Is this actually? Do you know what we're there? Oh, you do. <laughs> you couldn't. You yeah. couldn't hold back, could you, Barbara? You couldn't. <laughs> no, we're pretty much there. Look. Oh. No, it's so nice. They yeah. are lovely. They are really lovely. <laughs> Um, the details for those masks, by the way, are on the side of your screen right now, if you want to go for those ones. They've got a whopping £13 saving on those right now, so just twenty nine ninety eight for all of those. Plus, you're going to get the folders to go with it, but you've got some incredible backgrounds and landscapes that you'll be able to work with there. 407905, uh, absolutely brilliant value. They are absolutely fantastic. Uh, we want to go back to Barbara now. We've only got a couple of minutes left, but Barbara, I know we've got some new tape that we're going to talk about very quickly. Exactly. I just want to shout about our new tape runners. They finally arrived. Whee! And for, for any card makers, I know, woohoo! <laughs> for any card makers, these are a must have. And let me just put them through their paces for you so you understand why they are so special. First of all, it's nearly 100 feet on one roll. Secondly, they're very ergonomic. Me, for me, the clincher is it's got a lid on it, a protective cap, so you don't lose the lid. They're super strong. And 
And the only thing I would say is when you use them, it's like any, any tape runner. This isn't just a special tape runner. You go slowly and you let the dispenser take the tape. Because otherwise, if you go too fast, it, it doesn't work so right, well. Right. And the, the tape doesn't release. And then it gets all grunged up. So it's gently, slowly, beautiful tape runners at a great price. I think there's a bundle of four on the telly. Yeah, it is. It's just £13.46 for all four. Four. Uh, that's what 120 meters or so. I think you're looking at there, which is phenomenal. Uh, seven right. five two two three eight. So you got a four pound fifty saving as well. They're finally here. Get them into your collection so you can get working with those as well. I know a lot of people have been waiting for them. Uh, Barbara, our time this hour is coming to a close. But really delighted to say that we are back together again at 1 p.m. this afternoon. What can we expect at one? M more beautiful samples. I've got some really nice. Yeah, I'll show you with a gel press. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you a little trick with the little petite gel presses as well. Perfect. I'm going to do that drop shadow thing. Oh, lovely. Lovely. And I've got lots of examples of the drop shadows as well. So they're really popular designs. So make sure you get back with Barbara and myself. Barbara, thank you so much for this last hour. A real pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you for your company as well. Make sure you do get these while you can. Like I say, half the stock has already gone, actually on the feel-good words as well. And I've got a feeling that those um, masks are going to be very popular as well. Thanks for your company. Please don't go anywhere. We've got more lined up for you after this. Oh, brilliant. I know a load of people there waiting for the Pink Frog Crafts. It's coming up for you right now. Then we've got Stamperia. Then I'll be there with lovely Leone. And then we're back to the Moda American Gatherings One Day Special. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers. And we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. 
my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I'd like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just, just getting, getting a brand new name. Demonstration led full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Hello, good morning. Now, I am super excited about this because we have got brand new pink frog cardstock. It's absolutely, the colours, just look at this colour. Isn't it absolutely stunning? Um, now, Hazel, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Now, we have bought the True Blue one before in three smaller sizes, the okay. 10 and a half by 30, 15 by 30, and my mind's gone blank, but another size too. Yes. Um, but so many people were asking for the larger sizes, so that's what we've bought you. We've got, you've got your 15 by 42, yeah. your 20 by 40, and your A3. Wow. So really exciting, gorgeous colour to work with your projects. Great for male, great for patriotic. It just works, and it's so rich and yes. lovely. Yeah. And is it, when we say true, so is it to the core? To the core, yes, yeah. and it's the 290 GSM, so it's a real good weight for construction, yes. for card blanks, for matting and layering. Um, all sorts, whatever you want to chuck at it, really. <laughs> Absolutely. So we've got on screen then, this is the um, 15 by 42 centimetres. So what's this size good for then, Hazel? So this, you will get um, a, an instruction sheet within the pack that will give you 10 folds to make 10 cards, yeah. like we normally do. Um, you can also make frame cards with it. It makes a lovely half fold, which gives you the landscape C5, A5 card. Nice. Which, um, it's nice to stand, or you can do them as a tent fold. There's all sorts, and yeah. we do like to give that instruction sheet for inspiration. I love this. So this is a really nice size, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Claire's done that, and she's used some real, real nice technique with our quick stick, um, sticking the panels of card across. It's just, again, a really nice male card. Absolutely. And then we can do a really show-stopping, a easel yeah, card flipping here. flipping it the other way and going totally feminine um, putting your clouds in so we've used Mylar on there yep. um, and some of our nice stamp sets so it all just works together. Absolutely lovely. So right, right, 50 sheets here and you requested this size Ooh, and um, you know uh, Mr. Pink Frog and Mr. Hazel <laughs> have, have provided it. You're getting 50 sheets, 290 GSM, 14.99. It's a beautiful blue, it really is. 809912. Next, then we've got the 20 by 40. Again, um, has this size been requested? Absolutely, yeah. And so the same way, you'll get your 10 instruction, your 10 folds in with it, um, and your frame instructions. I've got a demo coming up first with Lovely. that size um, doing a beautiful frame card nice. um, but yeah again great for projects as well you can make pizza boxes the right size to hold your 15 by 30 half folds yeah. in nice. uh, th that one I have to mention this one is Anita's 
Yeah. Um, her samples didn't make it oh. to me in time okay. for our one day special when we launched the spring show. And that is one. And I had to bring it with me and, and just mount it onto the blue. I thought it really popped those beautiful flowers off. Absolutely. And now look at this. So I've untied the ribbon, but this is phenomenal. It is gorgeous. I love this. Claire's done this. Wow. And it, again, a great out. gift. Um, you could even turn it into sort of like a journal book if you wanted to. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, she's just she's got six cards in, inside there with the envelopes. They all correspond and match beautifully. She's yes. used the chrysanthemum stamp set. Oh, yes. And the typewriter sentiment stamp set. And then looking at that, she's used Textures 1 as well right. in the background. And but look, it just works really well. Yeah, like you said, actually, look at this with yeah. the... Um, beautiful flower stamped on the envelope so you get the envelope so well she's put the envelopes in there that's what I mean you're not getting that you're not allowed no, you're that you're getting the card stock. You, you need to make that yourself now this one so far is in the lead you've got 40 sheets 290 GSM it's your 20 by 40 and we are nearly 20 percent really busy nearly 20 percent of the stock gone we're starting to get cues on the phone line so please do make sure you're checking out your baskets now I like a3 I do too you yeah. have a large yeah. size card it's it's handy for a lot of things um that one that you've got in your hand Love just this. making a bottle box yeah now we normally make a bottle bag but i thought yeah. i'd be different this time and and bring a bottle box so you can size them you've got enough room there to size them so that would hold a wine bottle mm -hmm. yeah i've got one up here that would hold um a prosecco bottle or a bottle of champagne so it's a bit wider yeah because it's wider that. yeah yes there Look, you go there that's you go. it yeah marvelous so whether you're making um gift bags yes whether you're just doing a half fold and you want to do an a4 card mm -hmm. because it's something super special yes, and you want I to make agree. impact you can do it you can make your boxes with it there's just so much and i find myself dipping into my a3 quite often absolutely yeah. do we get instructions with this one as of well of course Excellent. now you'll get i think for the a3 we do a notelet bag okay and um I think there's something anything that corresponds with it you'll yes. you'll get it if that makes sense i love that because it's yeah. a project to start absolutely you yeah excellent right again uh 290 gsm such a good weight for construction 20 sheets in total just 10.99 here just 10.99 197 oh there we go um right so we've also got a4 sheets we've got 15 by 30 and we've got 10 and a half by 30. So there are so many lovely different sizes that you've requested and Pink Frog Crafts, they have delivered. Lovely. And look at that, those five star reviews. Loving that. Okie dokie. So do check out the website at hachanda.com. Now, a few other lovely items to show you. Details just coming onto the screen. Okay, right, the black cardstock. Now, Hazel, you were saying uh, this again has been requested to come back because it comes in that fabulous box and there's so many different yeah. sizes. I know. So what happens is we've we've done the, the the super smooth in the box yes. for some time now and it's always so very, very popular. Um, and we had so many requests for the the same in the true black. So yes. we've, we've bought it today for you all. So. And it has a freedom discount absolutely brilliant price i know look at that can't believe that yeah so two payments of 18 pounds and 90 pence you've got all of those wonderful um sizes so you're getting let's let's go through this 175 a5 sheets and 350 a6 uh, so we've got the super smooth also coming onto the screen uh, this is 16.98 for this again a really great price also you're getting the a5 and the a6 so 160 sheets of the a5 and then 320 of the a6 um, such good value um, 6.98005 I love it receiving that big box. I know and yeah. it just stays on the counter like you'll always see me I mean I've got two boxes now we're going to yeah. need a bigger counter we next are time <laughs> because I'll probably have one in, with something else in it as well yeah okay so I want to start off by making this tulip box card, uh, frame card, and this is done on the 20 by 40. So I've just bought a little bit of the outside in there just to finish that off. We're going to be doing some stamping using the tulips from the spring set. So to start off with, you'll need a 20 by 40 sheet. Yep. And we're just going to do a half fold on that one, which is 20 centimetres. And then we will just fold that down and should have a little crease there we go so that's perfect we can pop that to one side 
and then you'll need four panels to make each piece of the frame there and you want to cut those to 10 centimeters by 21 mm -hmm. and you're going to go in and you're going to score at one centimeter two and a half yep. five and a half and seven and then you're going to do a rotate clockwise you're going to do one centimeter all to the bottom and four centimeters to that second line and then we'll move that board out of the You're way. You're so good with your memory. <laughs> I, I make so many yeah. of them. But, you know, you will get um, frame instructions so that you can follow them. And there are lots of different sizes on there. Yeah. So what I like to do here is I, I like to keep it uniform because you can get confused and you'll end up with stuff at the wrong end. So okay. this part here is going to be our tab. So the first cut will just be a little snip and they're just a little bit angled fold that back that's your tab you're going to keep that nice and safe snip off that bit okay and then go diagonally from that point to the bottom of that score line that we did right and then i'm going to just turn it so i can get that nice and straight take that away okay okay and then from there i always like to put my red liner tape on oh lovely on now, the web because that's a centimeter i know i'm okay with my nine mil yeah providing i stick it on nice and straight <laughs> Uh, so just line that in. Um, we put the details on screen, and uh, he, right, you get the three, six, nine, and twelve millimeters. Now there's thirty meters on each. That is so much more than your average red liner tape. It is, and you know you will use all of these sizes. Yes. It's a really good staple to have in your in your stash. Okay, so once I've put my tape on, I'm going to turn over and just go across each of those fold lines and just folding it one way like so and then I'm going to grab myself a little block and I'm going to dip into my spring set and I'm going to get my tulip head okay and for this I'm going to use a picket fence any white ink would do and um, you could even heat emboss it if you wanted to but for me doing the demo I just wanted a, a bit of speed yeah. but the white does show up really nicely on here um, oh, it's lovely. So I'm just going to randomly go down and just keep rotating the stamp as you go. Now okay. this back section, you don't need to stamp over there because that's going to be wrapped around right. and you won't see it. So it's pointless wasting your ink and your time. Yeah. Uh, we do have these lovely stamps for you, these spring flower stamps. You've got 11 stamps in total. It's £14.95. 099937. Aren't they lush? And so nice for colouring in if you want as well. They are stunning. Love them. Whether you like colouring with pencils or yep. alcohol markers, um, I'm just making sure that I've got no wet bits of ink without having to blast it. Okay. Um, just so that I can fold it up. So from there, I would take the back end off there, fold down on the second line and bring the bottom up. That's the best that way to do it. That naturally meets that fold then yeah. and then you can go and you get that perfect shape. Yep. So I have already completed the other three and all you're going to do now is take off the little bit of tape that you've got on your tabs. Mm -hmm. So take them all off together, she says. Oh, it's always the way they're on yeah. TV, isn't it? Red liner can be a bit fiddly. I'm, I'm feeling quite proud that I'm being tidy and making a pile when she <laughs> says, no, it's all gone. So then I'm just going to tip this up, look. Yeah. Get another one. And because these are all the same size, you don't have to worry about which one you're putting down. If you were making a rectangular frame, you'd need to do a short one, then a mm. long one. Uh, but just keep them the, the same way round. Okay. And then... I'll just add this last one. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay in the middle. Yep, all good. That's there brilliant. we go. And then you're going to need some glue. So this section here. Yeah. Just pop a little bit in there and then a little bit on the corner. I'm going to do that corner while I'm there. Okay. And then just move along. Do you know when it's in this shape? You know, my imagination, Hazel. Do you remember the, the toy snakes? That you I used do, to and I, do you know what? I knew that you was going to say that. I don't know why, but 
I used to, I mean, they always used to be the wrong colour. It was always a lucky dip and I'd get the green one or something. And I was like, no. <laughs> just transporting me then back yeah. to my childhood. So then these just pop round. Yeah. And when you get to the last one, uh -huh. just tuck that little tab in. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then look at that fit. I like to just rotate and just give it a wiggle to make sure it's getting into position. Okay. And then whilst that glue is still a little bit wet, use your mat, your lines to check to make sure that you're not on the skew. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that can then be stuck onto there. So I would use, again, my red liner, but I'd go for my thick one. This yes. is the 12 mil. Get the end. Mm -hmm. And again, it's super strong, that tape, isn't it? It's amazing, and it just keeps everything in place. Lovely. Let's We've go. again put the um, red liner tape at the bottom of the screen, 13.99, and get 120 metres in those four different sizes. So that will definitely keep you going. But of course, um, you do a lot of construction, don't you? So, I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Andy's forever sending me tape. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> right. That's that last one. Cool. Just a bit too long. Okay, so just give that a rub down. Okay. We are very busy out there. Your fastest way to order is online uh, at hachanda.com. We have got five minute queues. That's how busy we are. Uh, you requested all these different sizes in the blue cardstock and Pink Frog Crafts have provided it. So make sure you're checking out your baskets now and stock up on your consumables. So I always like to take the card over to the frame because I get a better view. Um, so just get those corners lined up. Yep. Okay. Yep. So that gives us our card. Cool. And then what I've got is a piece of our super smooth for inside. And then we've got a little bit for the front. So we'll, I think we'll start off with the inside. Um, I've grabbed some of our Myla and I've cut myself a little aperture in there, okay. just using a, a, a square die, just a simple square oh, die. Oh, so dies are fine? Yeah, um, and I'm just going to position. Now, I can see through the Myla and I know that this isn't completely in the middle, so I've just got to juggle it so that I get it in the middle, but I can see through there if that makes sense. Yeah. Right, I'm happy. And then I'm going to take blueprint sketch because it just goes so so well mm. with this color cardstock and i'm just going to grab a piece of super smooth to check that i've got the same the right color yes so holding that into position okay now with the mylar what you're getting is um a set of 12 by um sorry they're 12 by 12 in size and it's 350 micron, and you're getting six sheets for 11.99. There you go. Uh, but it's um, it's a really nice weight, but you can still cut through it. So you can make your own stencils, can't you? You can. And on a, a demo that I've got this afternoon, we've we've got some clouds that we've cut. You can just yes. cut them with scissors, um, and they just look amazing. What time are you back on later? Two o'clock. Two. Okay. So I'm just going round softly. Don't worry too much if you haven't got it even. It doesn't matter because we are going to stamp over there. It just gives a kind of faux frame yeah, that's, oh, to, to your that. work. Beautiful. So that's what we're going to start with. I'm going to bring in... Look, I'm getting messy now. <laughs> no, you're all um, good. Spring set. We're going to go for the tulip leaves. And you could do this with your um, stamping platform, but again, just... Because I need to do two or three, I'm, yeah. I'm just putting it onto a block. So I'm going to stamp this down, again using the blueprint sketch. Okay. I'm inking that up quite a lot because mine is very old and dry <laughs> and, yeah, <laughs> um, forgot a step. What do you need? I need some of my ah. scotch tape and the reason being I want to mask out this bottom area. If I can find the end, here it is. Uh, we do have this, don't we? <sighs> Oh, yes, you do. Tape. Yeah, you've got that on the back there. Amazing stuff. So if, if you haven't got any in your stash, I would highly recommend getting some. I'm running out, actually. It's great for sticking your dies yeah. down. It's great for masking out areas and inking. Mm -hmm. um, it's brilliant. So, again, just make sure it's got the ink on. Okay. So I'm going to go for a central one. I'm going to come down a touch, and that's why I've got my tape there. Give it a nice, firm press. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Right, and then 
mask, that's it. So using my mask it, and do forgive me, these ones, are, I was going to make a new one. But, you know, it's one of them jobs that you just didn't get around to. Yeah, don't worry. So I'm going to protect that now. Yeah. Stick my mask over it. That'll do. Yeah, perfect. And then I'm going to pop one either side. And I think I'm going to come a little bit lower. And I can tilt them. So it just gives us... Mm -hmm. I might come out a little bit there. The mask it is really good because then you can create sort of backgrounds and foregrounds. Yeah. Yeah, really good for dimension. Uh, you get 10 sheets of that and it's on screen at 9.99, Okay. So then when we take that away, oh, we've still so got our, our middle one is in the, yes. in the foreground. We take that tape away, stick it to somewhere to keep it safe. So to colour this in... I'm going to go to our watercolour pencils and I'm going to probably use a couple of colours. <clears throat> so because the ink is water reactive, I could go straight in with my water brush, yep. providing it was clean. Um, and I could probably pull out some of that ink. But before I do that, I just want to add in a little bit more, just so it gives us... It's a little bit more intense, but Here, still a bit it? wishy, washy, kind yeah. of. Now, you've got um, an, a lovely card collection with the watercolour pencils. You're getting 35 sheets in total and the 24 watercolour pencils for 19.99. I love the um, spring beautiful colours in that pack. They are gorgeous. And yeah. you know you can stamp onto them and then do your watercolour in. That's good. And they look amazing. They're lovely Easter colours. Yeah. They're perfect. So you see here on the edge of the um, card there, yeah. when you go over to do your watercolour, that then goes over the top of there and I pulls see. that out. Yeah. And I'm just being really quick with this, just whizzing up. It just gives it a real quite nice effect. Mm -hmm. Nice? That's a horrible word to use. Not nice. Um, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that stem. Yeah. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and prepared the tulips ready so that we can add those on. Excellent. Yeah. Just whiz those across. It does give it such a lovely watercolour finish. It's beautiful. Yeah. And nice. you don't have to be too careful with it. No. Okay. Fab. That's it. So we will bring in our card. And that can go in the centre. And I'm going to stick it in the centre before... No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to stick the stuff on and then I'm going to stick it in. Okie dokie. Okay, so I've got some extra stems here. Mm -hmm. I've done two. I'm just going to bring this down so I can see what I did on this no one. Because, you know, when you've got, you've done something and you're trying to emulate and then I, my mind goes a blank. All good. So I've got that nice one there, the open one. I'm going to use some of our glue gel in my tub. Again, everything that Hazel's using, you will find on the website. So if you need a bit of glue gel, I love glue gel. It just... Oh, and it it's just, so strong, isn't yeah. it, as well? But just to give it that dimension. Give them a nice bit of a curl first, yeah. you know. It's um, And then on these ones, I'm just going to bend round and I'm going to measure off, I think, probably there. I'm just going to snip that with my scissors. Mm -hmm. And then we'll use a little bit of glue on the bottom and then I'm just going to leave that to be a bit free okay if that makes sense yeah and I'm going to go a bit an angle I'm just going to angle that bottom because otherwise that will annoy me there we go that's cool and then again on this one you could just use a little bit of a, a bit of pencil on there mm -hmm. and then we'll pop that one on yeah, it's really coming to life now. I love 3D. Look at that. Right, there we go. Yep. And then I've got a couple, so we can have one there. Oh, it's getting really full now. And this is it, isn't it? So yeah. I'm going to lift that leaf up there, pop that one on. Okay. And then we'll pop... <laughs> I've wrote myself a little message on the back of that one. D did you? So <laughs> what did say? I've put inside. I'm just going to cut a little bit of that off. You're, you're so organised. Well, I have to be. <laughs> there we go. 
I just want that there. And then you've got, I can't see where any of the stem is. Under there. Yep. That's it. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. I might Look. want to put another one on there. Um, there we go. That's better. Lovely. So we've got that. Yep. And then that can go inside. Just squeeze your glue up so it doesn't yeah, dry I'm, up. Yeah, I made the mistake of not doing that. And then you get air in there and yeah. it dries. So I'll pop my glue on. Mm -hmm. Make sure we're not going to be making the card the wrong way round. That's it. And then for the inside, nice and simple, we'll just get our tulip. It's just nice to bring a bit of the outside in and it doesn't have to yeah. be the whole amount. Now this piece of card is one of our mat stacks. Okay. So on the um, on the counter somewhere, I, I did see it, there's a little set and it's black and white and they're 20 by 20 but they're perfect to go with your 20 by 40 card stock. Right, oh perfect. So it okay. just works, you know what I mean? And yeah. it, again, it's less waste. It's so nice to, get to take care of the inside of the card as well as the outside. I think sometimes yeah. we forget about that. Uh, now on screen then, we've got the True Black 280 GSM and the Super Smooth 300 GSM. They're the 20 by 20 and you're getting 40 of each for £12.49, 034133. Again, I'm going to stress we are busy. Please check out your baskets. Fastest way is to go to the website at hachanda.com. Okay, so we will bring our card back in. All I've done is just whiz a little bit of pencil on there. We'll stick this in and then I've got... When I was making this sample at home, I was, f <laughs> I was fighting with myself because I didn't know whether to add a frame on the top. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm just going to bring it with me. Okay. And I'll show you what it would look like with a frame on. Okay. Okay. So there's the inside. I'm just going to pop, do you know what, I'm going to just stick this flat because it is the inside, but I've gone ahead and painted it just so that it saved yeah. us a little bit of time. So if we shut that oh, there. Oh, that's beautiful. And that is the finished article, but look what happens oh. if you pop oh, I like a that. frame on. Oh, I really like that. So the choice is yours, yep. whether you want it plain or with an extra frame. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I really like the extra but just, frame. There's lots of depth there and Absolutely. it's just really quite interesting. I so. mean, for me, not just a card, but it's a piece of wall art. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Gifts, Absolutely. everything. Love that. Right then, Hazel, I'll do a quick Thank recap you. if I may. Okay. Uh, right, so coming back to, now these are new sizes. So we've got the true blue and it really is a beautiful true blue, isn't it? Just look at that gorgeous colour. Can I say as well, it is so smooth. It is wonderful for stamping on. Now, 